You fly any planes lately? No. Is that what I look like, a pilot? Yeah, you look like uh, I, like a pilot. Do I, oh, what about the T-1000 that says, have you seen this boy? No, you don't look like Robert Patrick. No, I don't. Uh. The, these glasses, I'm wearing them. In, um, what I love about them is the fact that they're flat. They're not like a... Curved? Is that bevel or whatever that's called? The Cur- curved? Curved, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Why? What's the difference? Because they were the ones Michael Jackson wore at Super Bowl. Oh, the flat ones? Exactly. And uh, they're spy glasses. So here inside and, and here... Oh, there's mirrors. There's mirrors so I could see in Mexico who's coming up to me. No way. <laughs> it still didn't stop you, though, from getting uh, drugged and assaulted. Molested. No, I wasn't wearing these in Tijuana, but I was oh. wearing them in uh, uh, Playa area. Hold on, you were in Tijuana? I was in Tijuana when I had a... Isn't that the, isn't that the place that borders the United S- States? Uh, San Diego. Well, Mexico, it's the, the entirety you went, of Mexico. You, hold on, hold on. Why did you go to the one of the most dangerous places in Mexico? I went there at least four or five times. Why? Well, uh, uh, I think I told this story before. <laughs> but um, I sex think and I, drugs, I have bro. an idea why. Why Why did I go? Sex and drugs. It's okay, we're not going to snitch on you. No, I went because uh, um, uh, Governor Chris Christie, uh-huh. uh, former governor of New Jersey, the fat... Fuck. Former governor, uh, uh, current fat man, Chris yeah, Christie. Uh, he had, uh, and Diego Maradona in Cuba had uh, the first ring put around the, um, I don't know if the you're, you, you know people when they're fat, Poseidon, I'm not sure if you know about this, but yeah. when they're trying to lose weight, they put, so I had a ring, I had a, a gastric ring put in Tijuana. So hold on, you went? <laughs> all his surgeries are in Mexico. There's no you? way, bro, you're a real person. How do you not know this? I told this story before. Yeah, but not in Tijuana, bro. One of the most dangerous places on the planet. Well, I can well, tell you it's this. It's only dangerous because he was there. No, <laughs> I can tell you this. You in know the, why it's dangerous, in, right? In the morning, yeah, he's there. When, when the nurse comes in and she says to you, Petsico, you're like, what? Is it Petsico? I'm like, what? Bro, how did you and not she's, get... And she shows you a popsicle and she's trying to give you a popsicle. Bro, how did you <laughs> not... Petsico? How did you not get your organs harvested? This is insane, bro. No, well, they, uh, he doesn't have he good was organs. Wearing, you know what? I can tell <laughs> no, you. No, but back then, at least something. No, my organs, they do. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you. That was a uh, phantom of the hour. I'm very upset. Thank you. Good. What happened at work that you were so upset? It doesn't matter. Uh... <laughs> Speaking, the rock so, is a so, heel. Huh? Hold on, you hold on. That, stop that, jumping. Stop jumping. The rock yeah. is a heel. Back, back to your Tijuana misadventures. Yeah. You guys keep fucking doing your <laughs> show, bro. Don't get distracted. <laughs> <He's> not... <laughs> You're back at it again, aren't He's you? That... Just That's... do your show and go on. Now, is that a Cheetos or is that a. That's uh, actually not funny, though. Lay. No, it's yeah, not so funny. Kind of disgusting. There's nothing funny about what's going on except for the fact that you guys aren't focusing. <laughs> hey, be professional, <laughs> please. So, back to Tijuana. Yeah. Um, that was where I got roofied, and I woke but up. But why, uh, why did you go four or five times? Because, you went the first time um, for your for the um, ring on your stomach. Here, uh, Doctor Ariel Ortiz. Is it like your tooth? They didn't do a good job. They no. To... In fact, he did a fantastic job. Okay. Do you still uh, have that ring? If, if the the if uh, no, I chose to remove it. But uh, the the scars, uh, the Mexican <laughs> scar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Mexican scars. The gone. Mexican scars, I can't see them because they took such care in stitching me up. But uh, the the scars that I had here, they're staple scars. You can see them. Oh. God damn! So you're like a you're like a chick with fake breasts, but only if you, they put a ring on your okay. stomach. But listen, <clears throat> uh, have you been paying attention to what's been happening uh, on the road to WrestleMania? No, you know the uh, I the, haven't. No, The Rock, uh, uh, Dwayne Johnson. Uh, acquired the um, rights to his name, and he's a stakeholder in TKO now. I thought you were going to say he bought WWE. It, he basically no, did. No, it's in the billions. That would be way yeah. too fucking he, he's hard. Ba- he is a billionaire, The Rock. But now he just paid to be an authority figure there. Yeah, no, I don't know. The reason why they got him is because of everything that's happening with Vince. Bro, she looks so like they wanted. Egg. Can you shut the fuck up and do the show? Well, uh, the reason that they got him is because uh, just to show people, no, he's fine. Like, we have someone good taking over. It's not just the guy that was sex yeah. trafficking people. That's why. But he decided to become a heel. So The Rock became a heel now. He smacked Cody Rhodes hard because now it's a fight between the Mayavia and uh, uh, Johnson family against the Rhodes family. Yeah. So he, he, he saw Cody and he, uh, pah, he smacked him in the face. 
And I heard that Cody Rhodes will be getting his chance to fight for the championship at Wrestle the Mania. Well, that's the whole thing. But so Rock is fully a heel. <laughs> it's not that funny, but wrestling's legit. Uh, Poseidon finds it funny. Yeah, it's awesome. I, even though wrestling is like a, it's it's become more mainstream. I find. I feel I've been like seeing girls with wrestling T-shirts. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. I feel like this is a test of strength. Hmm. It is. Yeah. You gotta be. You gotta be. And I uh, want to see the top podcaster. I'm ready. I'm wearing the, um, uh, these are also the Freddie Mercury um, show must go on glasses. By the way, yeah. I'm not uh, I'm not signed in. And I don't know how. If I was signed in, I would let you guys in on the Claudio Capri. Bro, um, I on think YouTube, you're signed on YouTube, in. You no, he's on uh, Instagram. He put like 15 stories. It, it was, it's basically a diss track God, uh, against. Sign in, no? Uh, Who's he mad I don't, at? I don't know my shit. So wait a second. It's uh, Claudio it's, Capri. Yeah, it's who's, basically who's still sitting there yet hasn't said a word. It's basically he's dropping a diss track on a company, a hiring company, you know, that manage that hire you. Okay. He's dropping a diss track on them. What did they do to him? They refused to hire him, and he's like, "But isn't that your job?" Oh. Yeah, but hold on. Yeah. Why? Why? Mad? Why does he have a problem with that? No, because it's a hiring company that they, they basically you give your CVs and they, they, they place you somewhere. It's a placement okay, company. Okay, so I understand he, that. I understand that. <laughs> Wait a second. But what he if? Got, hold on, he, hold on. What he if got you refused by the middleman? <laughs> what if you're unhirable? Well, that's not what they said. What they told him was, they told him in his own words. He goes, they told him, we're we're not actually uh, looking for any jobs right now. We're not looking. And then he goes, but what are you talking about? That's your whole business is he got real jobs. And they go, yeah, yeah, but not right now. And then he goes, but there's so many applications I see of you guys online <laughs> looking for stuff. And she's like, yeah, yeah we got to update those. Yeah, yeah no, nobody, oh, nobody is looking for work right now. I, so um, basically, headhunters refused them. Headhunters. Yeah, yeah headhunters head, and the hunters. Yeah. Headhunters, yeah. But um, <laughs> uh, I, I, I can't believe I can say, I, I'd rather say I sympathize with him, I, and, I, not I him. and not empathize. See, when you empathize, it's because it hasn't happened to you. But I also have been too crazy Unhirable. to get a job. <laughs> no, but uh, Claudio's not crazy, I think. He's I think. not crazy. No, he's, uh, he's just, but then he goes on a tangent of what he needs a job for. And that's good because he makes it clear to them. What doesn't he apply himself to jobs? Well, because he says... Because you said it right there. Yeah. He doesn't apply himself. Yeah. So, like, it's actually a very good uh, a video because he says if anyone's looking for him. So I wanted to play it so that if anyone's looking for, like, someone like Claudio, they can hire him. But I don't have my fucking login credentials. Let me see. I remember I, I dealt with uh, headhunters once. I indeed. You, you then, want Indeed and not well, headhunters. Well, well, what headhunters was, sounds like a bunch of horny guys. Well... <laughs> That that's true. That's not bad, yeah. Um, I think I applied to for a job on Indeed, and then uh, I think th I went in to meet them, and then it took me a while before I caught on. I go, so hold on. This isn't the company like I would work for? And they go, no, we're just the middleman that hire people. I go, okay, what's the company? And they go, they don't want to disclose. I go, why not? And then uh, I think I Googled, what did I Google? I think I Googled something like the position, and it was like in customer service or whatever, and there were literally other jobs for like other similar companies that paid more. I go, so hold on. You're paying me less? I go, why would why would I do this? And they go, oh, well, because it's good for your career. And I was like, what? What career? I just need a job. What are you talking about? I got mad and I well, left. What's good for your career? She lies and said Basically, she's in then, love then with finding you. me a job. Can't find a middleman. Being underpaid because I went through them, then going directly to the... And that's why they don't want to disclose. Uh, I, I get that they're a bit weird. No, it's I, just this that's is a weird how, business model. I understand. It's just that that's how they make their money. Yeah, I know. Is you're the middleman. I don't know why. But Adam's my number. question I, I've is, I've been my, trying to call Adam for an hour. My by question, it's okay, bro. All my right. question why, is, why am I panicking? I, I so I I knew of one firm All right. that um, did this, but they did this for like crazy shit. They did this for like big, big uh, like uh, jobs, like exe exec positions, like lawyer positions, like crazy like. Like crazy shit for firms. We're talking about like salaries of uh, 200,000, 300,000 placing people like in these kinds of positions. But for like a regular job, bro, walk down, bro, he can walk down to any fucking gas station. Well, listen to him. It all comes down to lazy. As I got into. Listen to <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Claudio, not actually a diss track. Cla Cla Claudio no, Capri. it is a diss track. He's, he's dissing. There he is. Hold on. Yeah. You see that coffee cup there? Yeah. That's what counts. This agency. Is also in person. So I looked at the address. I'm gonna go visit I'm like, them. let me call first. You know, you might need a rendezvous to go and see an appointment. A representative of this agency. <laughs> this who is will actually hire amazing what he says here. Work. 
So, he called. thank God I called. I'm thank like, God. bonjour, je, je m'appelle le so je veux tra- euh, trouver un travail, je suis dans la région you know, Montréal, Québec. And this person says, uh, I'm going to have to stop you right there, uh, we're not hiring. <laughs> Excuse me? We're not hiring. I'm like, no, 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 no not, at your, not at your place. You're a hiring agency, right? You're supposed to help people. <laughs> That's all you guys do. Work. That's why you're a hiring agency. <laughs> Your job is to find other. He's absolutely correct. Is to help people like me. They're recruiting agents. Like you find jobs. He's absolutely so correct. So we could make moolah. Yeah. And live on Adonis with our Mula. lives. Right? He's actually That's correct. The, whole- so the place he's talking about, their entire business is basically, they're the middleman. They set you up with a job at, let's say, a factory, right? And the factory pays $15 an hour. They give you nine and they keep the six. That's how they make money. That's mm. how you make money. And that's how the, the company doesn't need to have you on their payroll as a regular employee. They don't have to pay for insurance, yeah, all that, yeah. because you're, you're, you're a contractor through the other company. So their entire business model is on finding people work. So when they call, when he calls and they tell him, yeah, yeah we're not, we don't hire people, it's it's like you calling KFC and they're like, no, no, we don't serve chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, but is there different categories in like the hiring process of like, let's say somebody um, has a disability. Yeah. Uh, a, uh, a person with severe mental retardation. Okay. So is there that category? Like, can you... I, I, you know how there's like um, inclusion and you have to like uh, different jobs have to hire a certain amount of um, uh, retards. Okay, uh, uh, is that uh, like does that exist? Yeah, but the employer can decide I mean, to do that. It exists. But what do you mean? You mean like they hired too many people? So, like, what are you trying to say? Like, I don't understand what you're trying. Yeah. What does this have do, to do, do with the do, Claudio do, biz, do businesses have... Uh, Are their... you calling Claudio retarded? No. but <laughs> No, he's trying to see if Claudio can sneak his way onto a job by pretending he's retarded. Ah, he doesn't have to pretend, bro. Well, he doesn't, have, he doesn't so, have to fucking pretend, so, bro. This video proves otherwise. Bro. Because I think <laughs> he's actually correct in the video. He's correct, he I understand, but... <laughs> But, do, but Claudio do, is actually the victim. He's correct in he this is video. A, I feel bad, bro. Look, I, I know for a fact, I personally, yeah. who am seemingly sometimes um, uh, um, okay, uh, I, I, can, I, okay I, I can apply for, um, you know, compensation and stuff. And, and there's companies that will actually hire me based on the fact that I'm mentally deficient if I choose to go that way. Why you mean, haven't, there's why haven't companies you done so? that would hire you b- solely based on the fact that you have problems? Correct. That's fucking crazy. Why haven't you done so? I haven't because I'm not sure what, what to fill in. Like, what, what do I write on the paper? Am I, what, what kind of Just mentally your name. deficient? Just like, what, put your name and your details. What's the, what's the best handicap to have? For, oh, yeah. It depends what job you're trying to get. Yeah, well, thankfully... Stay fit is is one of the most important things, though. If you're healthy, people will hire you. Thankfully, we've made a list yeah. about, uh, you know. Oh, is best. your list related? Yes, it's actually related. Yeah, this is why uh, it's funny. <laughs> oh, you forgot to add two words. Oh, here. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Too late. Because I'm handicapped. Yes. So we've taken a list of handicaps and we've okay. compiled it into a list where we think these are the best ones to have. If you were to have one, if you had no choice and you were burdened, or, or should I say blessed, uh, with a, a deficiency of some kind. Yeah. All right. Number five, Dive. <laughs> dive. Uh, yeah, I don't mind. I wouldn't mind. Like, if I were t- 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 to choose one, like, between, like, blind, deaf, uh, mute, and dumb. loss of taste or whatever, dumb. Yeah, deaf is good. I would choose deaf. Like, I, I feel like I've heard enough shit nowadays. I've, I've heard enough shit in my life. In 30 years of, um, you know, living, 
I've heard enough shit. We've seen it all. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but I haven't seen enough. <laughs> you have a fighting spirit, though. The yeah, more, exactly. Yeah, um, yeah I don't I'm, mind. What? The, 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 now the technology, though, when you're deaf, yeah. is way better. So like you, you can live. turn it on and off? Yeah, like oh. before you were fucked and you had these machines. It was like a VCR on your head. You looked ridiculous. Uh. Now it's little earpieces. Technology has really gone a long way. So you're right, actually. That's I, I would put it higher on the list. I didn't hear yeah. a word uh, you yeah, guys just true. said. <laughs> okay. Number f numero cuatro. Number four. No feet. Yes. That's very specific. So and now is that a um, a handicap? Yeah, that would be considered a, it is a, a handicap. handicap. It is a handicap. Right? You are handicapped. Yeah, you're missing. You cannot, a very uh, important thing. You're missing. Feet. You're missing feet. Is this? Uh, but is according to uh, uh, you know the 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 history books, you can have no feet and, and win a gold medal. Yeah, there's uh, the Oscar, Oscar Petorius. Uh, yeah, yeah. Petitus, yeah, that yeah. kill uh, So that's all right. That guy can run wife. around and shoot people. And, but he yeah. did murder his wife, though. Yeah. Yeah, there's that too. Uh, the reason why this one is good for me is because... Uh, if he's in South Africa and he thinks that the people are breaking in... No, no, no. You have an excuse for sitting was around Was that his excuse? Day. He said people were breaking in? Yeah. He oh, thought he thought his wife was an intruder and he shot her. That's a... Yeah, she was yeah, intruding of, in her uh, own bathroom. Uh, yeah. le <laughs> lethal weapon from, too. From the inside. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Be it's because crazy, of the man. rules of lethal weapon too. But yeah, but yeah, you basically have an excuse for sitting around... Yeah. You know, nobody can be like, bro, why are you fucking sitting down all the time, bro? You know what's freaky bro, about no the, the whole no feet thing? Like, uh, if you listen to people like Shark uh, Lim... Um, mm -hmm. I'm listening. They have what's called a uh, ghost um, pain. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Like, they'll feel an itch the on their hand, but they don't have a hand anymore. Apparently I, I get ghost pain, too. From where? Uh, uh, like where your dick used to be? tell me their stories, and I feel sad. That is also Yeah, because uh, what you're trying pain. to say, my friend, is phantom pain. Phantom pain, yes. I tried to say phantom pain. Have you seen? Notice uh, I mentioned of the phantom of the opera before. Yeah, dun, yeah you did actually. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> um, uh, have you seen? Have <laughs> you seen? Pain. Have you seen uh, ghost pain? <laughs> bro, this guy called um, a cesarean Caesar salad the other yeah, day. Bro. Cesarean salad. Yeah. <laughs> a cesarean salad. Yeah, we we speak cesarean salad. Oh, bro. we're so stupid. <laughs> Great timing. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Look, the, it's called the, the intellectual disability, bro. <laughs> it's our show right there. Here we go. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Uh, uh, have, you, have you seen the videos of the people where they're missing like an arm and then they do the mirror thing and they really feel like, like they really feel it? No, I haven't. You haven't seen it? It's no. pretty trippy. It sounds trippy. Yeah. So what are well, other... Um, um, this one, Claudio has it. This is uh, a good handicap to have. Yes. And you, you are suggesting Claudio not might, might have it. He's not handicapped at all. I'm joking, Elon Musk has it. Ass burgers. Yes. Oh no, he has. Uh, Claudio has had both of those. Yeah. <laughs> He's had ass and burgers because yeah, that go. is how we spelt it. So have I. Um, uh, <laughs> ass. Uh, so Elon uh, Musk has uh, ass burgers. What is that? What is it again? <laughs> <laughs> I completely forgot. Uh, talking something to about a, something about, about a whopper. No, no, no. Uh, oh, Asperger syndrome. All right. Asperger syndrome is a form of autism spectrum disorder. It is a developmental disorder. Young a people. A devil what? Developmental. A devil what? Developmental. Okay. Uh, disorder. Young people with Asperger's uh, syndrome may have a hard time relating to others socially. Repetitive behavior patterns and narrow and a narrow range of interests. So this could make you really smart like Elon Musk. Uh, it sounds like you described everyone in this room, but yeah. whatever. <laughs> but apparently the uh, renting agency, uh, the uh, placement agency, did not find this the case. Exactly. I see what no. you're saying. They were hoping for Elon Musk. Hmm. <laughs> they got another kind of Musk. <laughs> they got Aqua Velva. <laughs> I've been asking for Adam's number. I gave it to you Okay, earlier. can you go on with your list? Oh, I want to call Adam. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why can't you focus? Um, I have... Um, Says the guy laughing at I asked <laughs> French fry syndrome. Okay. Number two. Best handicap. Same as Tiger's Wood. You, you, you see what hey. I did there? That That is a, um, a, a, a double... Um, See, see, I'm doing the handicap. Like you said, best handicap. So it's a, it's a joke on words. Because uh, there's golf handicaps. So if you want a good handicap in golf, you go with Tiger Woods. Hence, number two. Thank you. Because he has the best handicap. 
Correct. We had a whole debate on this today. I mean, it is a good play on words. Yeah. Uh, can, however, can I please read the? Message? I am not sure if you guys fully comprehend. No, no, no. Hold on. That society views you both as severely mentally <laughs> handicapped. That's fine. Uh, they can think whatever they want. Uh, they know. <laughs> but here's the conversation we had. I go, uh, yo, you have a top five in mind? He goes, top five dogs, top five cereal. No idea. I go, top five best handicaps to have. He goes, but the have has to be written on a separate card. I go, no, why? It was because it looks like you wrote best retards. <sighs> best handicap. And then next yeah. card, to have. You see the joke? Okay. No. Yeah. So I go, I was at work and shit. I didn't really understand. I go, that doesn't make any sense. He goes, top five. I'm really, and then he messages me seven hours later. Top five. I really am blank. I don't even know what a handicap is. I go to him. I told oh, him, what the what fuck? <laughs> he goes, like a golf score. I go, are you joking? You don't know what handicap means? Like a handicap, bro. Like missing a limb or you have down syndrome. He well, goes, I mean, there's more than that, bro. That's your handicap, bro. And then he goes, it's just numbers? Seriously, why would I lie, bro? I swear on my son. Okay, but I made Jesus that joke Christ, earlier and you, said, and you said you didn't understand. There's no way you don't know what a handicap means. What joke? I never made a joke. So you meant handicap like a uh, retard. Well, Jesus Christ, bro. bro what's wrong with you? What's him? wrong with you, bro? And he goes, oh, so okay, this is a follow knock on wood that your son doesn't get cursed because of your bad mouth. Bro, and then, I don't have a bad mouth. And then he goes, okay, so if you had to choose blind or missing a foot. Yeah, I go, exactly. Bro, okay. you know how many people are deaf, uh, blind? They're not retarded, bro. And he goes, but that's what that's why I, he I was like, what, are what you is confusing it? handicap with mental retardation? I think I might be. A <laughs> handicap is like something that like so uh, you're, you're, you're talking missing about a limb, the, you the, can't the blue, hear, you the can't blue wheelchair symbol where yeah, people get to sit down. That, you're talking handicap. about that. Yeah, okay, for example. So why did I think but it was hold on, all hold on, retard? Let me finish the conversation. You're retarded. I go more than doable. <laughs> That's why I didn't understand what he meant by retards in the, at the beginning. I go, more than doable. Example. Uh, and then I was gonna, he goes, but if you Google handicap, it means golf statistics. I go, you, I so, go, you, uh, so you're 52 years old and you've <laughs> never heard the term handicap. I always assumed handicap was uh, something to do with the statistics in sports. This is the most insane thing I've ever heard in my life. This is why I want to be deaf. No, because I heard <laughs> <laughs> handicap. I didn't say handicapped. Handicapped, two Ps, ED. It's the same is, thing. Uh, I didn't know it was the same thing. I and actually then, thought it was two different things. I go to, I get mad. I go, uh, handicap, single P. I thought it was only to do with sports. In caps lock, I go, are you using fucking Bing? What the fuck? Yeah, he was mad at Bing. What did Bing do? Because uh, they always just give it like some weird shit. And again, he goes, okay, we can use it. I, I sent him a screenshot and he goes, <laughs> Okay, think of some. Uh, anyways, whatever. It ends there. Yeah. So, um, and then he goes all day. I'm asking myself about sports averages. <laughs> you guys are insane. <laughs> this is the, the most insane conversation I've ever had in my life. Well, so that's number two. Um, so, uh, if you were to choose a handicap aside, and what would it number one be? <sighs> Why'd you write it like that? You forgot three letters. Okay. Idiot. Perfect list. And the number one, multi-personality disorder. It's multiple. Yeah. It's multiple personality disorder, but whatever. And what happens when you have that? Uh, I don't know how to explain this properly, but basically you have this condition where uh, you change personalities. It's so you vague. Yeah. You can fill out any form and say you have it. What? What? Like if you got to get recompensation from the government, you just say you have that and... And, really? And they pay you. I don't yeah. know if that's how that works. So it's basically that's exactly like, how it works. You know how you have your personality in your head? Now you got like 10. Yeah. You know, and they switch. You Just know, one day you're a little girl, one day you're a little boy. I think that's the movie that you saw. That but that that's actually that's actually the disorder. That's what it is. Mm. Not not you don't get super strength though, like you did in the movie. Yeah, that's yeah. not real. That's Which not real. Which one of these makes you invisible? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the next one, the hat. Yeah. <laughs> so you can be. A, so if you jack off in front of a safe, what happens? No, this has, that has nothing. Oh, okay. Which one of them? Right, no, the jumping jacks. Guy. And what's yeah. the half? This is the handic <laughs> this, this is the half handicap. And the half being gay. What the <laughs> fuck, dude? I would say it's a major handicap, bro. You can't reproduce. It's not a handicap. Yeah, you can't continue. Right now, it's according to you. You can't continue your lineage. 
Yeah, but if you want to continue, true. it's not true because if you want to continue your lineage, you can. You can go rent a womb yeah, and you can still rent love a womb. your husband. Yeah, but you're always ejaculating in the wrong hole. But that's not what you're saying. You keep. Ch- this is why people can't speak to you. That's not how conversations work. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You're saying you can't continue your lineage. We said you can. You're like, you can't. Oh, oh, like, like a <laughs> retard. So, Me no, and Neil can. Patrick Harris can yeah. have a love affair and fall in love with each other and have for a life and uh, rent a womb and have children. Yeah. You could rent a womb. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Like Airbnb? No to, way. To, to make your baby. Really? Yeah. That's that's uh, what's happening in the world today. Oh, you mean... It's disgusting and I'm against it. But you could do it. You could go right now and do oh, it. Oh, who invited the Pope? <laughs> <laughs> See what he did. You're talking about, wait, you're talking about surrogacy. Uh, you, you could do surrogacy. You could also do... Uh, I think they're doing like test tube babies. Oh. Like grown in tubes and shit. I see. I've seen. I've seen articles about that shit. Like, but, like uh, a, a cesarean baby. What the fuck is going on? Uh, I've seen articles about that shit, but apparently, the, like the baby survived like five minutes. Holy what shit! Do you mean? How? Yeah. But, like they tried to like grow babies in like a fucking incubator or whatever. It didn't survive. Like, I was born. I was in an incubator. No, no, no. I mean, like, like from 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 like a spermazoid. Oh, like when you make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when you make an omelet. <laughs> what I'm saying is th- there was like test two test babies. Two babies. Yeah, they, exactly. they exist. Of course they exist. I think they didn't make it to like they didn't make it to like three months or whatever or some shit. See, look, shit. it says men having babies. Men having babies. Uh, yeah. uh, you see this guy here? He had a baby. And with this guy. Okay. Came out of his asshole. No, no. no they, you can you can either adopt or you no, can they, either do one, a surrogacy. One of, one of them's Sperm made this kid. So, so look. No. Yeah. Yes. So Poseidon, look, look at me. Look at me. There are different ways. Look at this. But it's gay sperm, though. Yeah, it's gay sperm. So <laughs> but it's thing. gay sperm. You yeah, can either, sperm. Look, look, look. You see in a test tube. They're looking said, at it now. But it's gay. See, that's the kid right there. They're making sure it's not gay. Yeah, but uh, the, gay sperm go doesn't go for the egg. Yeah, it does. No, so it goes here, for the tonsils. No. So here, here's <laughs> here's how it works. You can either have a friend of yours, see, a woman. See, that's Shelly yes, Marsh. Look, uh, either a woman that she you held, bang. She held a gay baby. In she her looks tummy. like Michael Jackson's wife, in fact. So either Poseidon, either yes. you can um, have a surrogacy. Just you don't even know the woman. You find her, whatever. That's their job. Number two, a woman that you know and you just bang her. You both bang her. One of you bangs, try to get her pregnant, and then you keep the baby. Number three, you can adopt. There's a lot of babies out there. All they're they're, they're orphans. All they're missing is some love, and uh, you could just adopt them into a new family. Yeah, That's but it. then. But then the poor kid has two gay dads, bro. Yeah, you've been working on that joke. You've been yeah, hitting it, it, it across it, the head for 10 minutes. It's really a thing Not with you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, there's a wonderful movie called The, uh, uh, the Birdcage, uh, based on a French movie called La Casual Fall. And uh, uh, Robin Williams and Nathan Lane were wonderful fathers to that uh that, that, I believe that, I'm that, just that. fucking around, bro. And but... Ali McBeal was in it. Remember, remember Ali Jean, McBeal? Remember, Ali McBeal? Jean, she's married to uh, Indiana Jones. Sean Connery. She's still married to Indiana Jones. That's not a real person. His name is Harrison Ford. Yes, there you go. He, he talks like this in interviews. Is there, what was her real name? Her Ally McBeal's real name? Oh, my God. Um, I have uh, no idea who you guys are talking about oh, right Jesus, now. Oh, Jesus, what I'm the com- fuck is her I'm name? I'm completely lost. Did you see the <laughs> other Ally chick, the, the, um, the interviewer, the podcaster... Well, I, I, I can tell you the, the podcast that's been um, on my mind lately is uh, the one with uh, Will Sasso called uh, Dudesy because uh, George Carlin's <laughs> daughter is uh, uh, <sighs> Thank God. making a, a big stink. Be- and, and I guess rightfully so. She wants to sue because they made an AI George Carlin rant. Yeah. Oh, and, shit. Um, Was it any fuck, good? Fuck, it sounds... And, and I, uh, it sounds... It's... It's George Carlin talking like he's AI, and it's it's alarming. It really is. And we and, already uh, talked about yo, some of this AI. Did yeah. you see the the AI scammers that pretended to be a CEO of a company and scammed the company out of twenty five million dollars? No. Did you see this shit? Yo, pull that shit up. Well, what was that? <laughs> what was that, Lizzo? What the yeah, exactly, fuck was yeah. that? Poseidon, Poseidon had backup dancers behind them. <laughs> Pull that shit out. Uh, I don't know why I said that like that. <laughs> but for real, though, can you just pull that shit out for a and second? And it was so zesty, too, for no reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Yo, I got some. I got some for your ass. Hey, that's for your ass. <clears throat> oh, this Guido. was so funny. It's for Guido. This was so funny. I saw this. I know you said it twice. It's okay. Musician. So that's why I'm interviewing you today, so I can get to know you. So I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. What the fuck that mean? Make magic or something? <laughs> what is musician? I think that's. I think you're confusing that. Yeah, I'm not no musician. I, I make music. I make I music, am. and that's not all I do. I make music, I act. I'm a TV star, too, a young mom. Uh -huh. Just really quick, I think you're confusing. I'm not confusing nothing because I, you, you don't know. I, you thought that all I was was a magician or whatever the fuck you said. See, that's what I think you think I said. No, I said musician, I think, not what, magician. I don't think, baby, but, I don't think. What is that? That's ghetto. I don't think. Of course she doesn't think. I know. <laughs> that's part of her so confidence you, you reminds think. me of you. I didn't say magician, Suki. I said musician. <laughs> And I think you are a musician. No, baby, I do music. So you, just really, just really quick, for the record, could you say you don't think you're a musician? I'm not none of that. But then after that, you just said, I do music. Yeah, I do music. So, in other yeah. words, you're a musician. No, I'm not. Okay. What do you Jesus <laughs> fucking <laughs> Christ, she, she, bro. But she's committing to it. That's <clears throat> what I love. Oh, but it's so real. Funny. Like, it, the, is it a, is, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, the whole internet is ablaze. Like, yo, how dumb is this chick? No, but is she... What, do you think I do magic or something? Is she... Is it like kayfabe? Like, is she sticking to the character? No, 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 no. Or is she no, really like real. that? not good for your career. This is real. She, this she's is really real. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah But she real. said with such conviction. She was answering she is the real. other girl. And you know, it's not she a... She believes her shit. You know, it's not like a skit or a bit because she kept interrupting the other chick. She's sticking to being she's macho like, man. No, 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 no. Like, what the fuck are you talking about here? Yeah, yeah, there was attitude. Exactly was like Randy Savage was sticking attitude. to the character. Yeah. Think, <laughs> she was think what's, I don't think. That's I don't ghetto. Think. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think. I, I just saw That's Macho ghetto. Man talk to Gene Okerlund women style right now. That's what I just saw. It's great. Bro, Bro, somebody, somebody do a Photoshop of Einstein, like... Like her head on Einstein's. No, no, like Einstein, like in the ghetto, just fucking thinking or whatever. Or like, you know, That's whoever ghetto. discovered gravity. Think. Whoever discovered gravity, you know, he's wearing fucking, I don't know what. So uh, apart from uh, Claudio having a fight with that company, what else have the intellectuals been up to this week? Well, apparently. And by the way, Claudio is like the only intellectual <sighs> that uh, you guys haven't really had on in a while. So he's alone in the wild. You should bring him here. I yeah, saw him, him uh, recently. I was... Um Outside the third floor there, having a smoke with uh, Sam Adamo. Mm -hmm. And um, Claudio was across the street outside um, Bustan. Trying to get a job? No, no he was hanging. waiting for his friend. Okay. <clears throat> and um, Did you tell him hello? It took a while for him to acknowledge us and walk across the street. And then finally he joined us and we shook hands. And um, he's doing that... Um, I like Claudio. He's doing that, that hires him. Tony yeah. and Tina's wedding type thing there, that show that I did. He, he's um, Wait, does that pay? It pays. But he can <clears> only <throat> do it once a week, right? Like it doesn't happen. I don't know. Often. No, no. I think you he, know, does it he every can couple he can get a job at a gas station full time, by the way. Just you keep you saying gas station you like keep saying, why the you, easiest, you brought that up? The, the, I'll explain to you why. They're the easiest jobs to get okay. because they're twenty four seven a lot of these yeah. gas stations. So they have a uh, there's a difficulty in hiring people. Not many so why don't you get it for him? To, bro, he just walks in through the door and he's like, and he's like, bro, I'm Which willing one? to do any gas station at the corner of his house, and he just he's just gotta be willing to say like, I'm willing to do like weird hours. Did you know and, that? And and fun fact about working at a gas station, the owner will actually let you skim up to a certain amount per night. Up yeah, to, stop uh, saying that to people. On, no, to, that's think, not how it works. Up to, I think, like $20, yeah. $30 you, you, per you, night. No, the, no, you the sound owner like a 1992 they older cousin. Yeah, they you sound so it, stupid. It, no owner will let you steal money. An older cousin that But worked, if you're a reliable employee... They will not let you steal money. <laughs> He's talking like Because then you're not a reliable employee. Like it's your you're uncle's unreliable. garage you're stealing in the 80s. Yeah, but you're more reliable than unreliable. You're reliable completely. No, you're completely unreliable. You're robbing him. But Yeah, but only for a very minute amount. So at uh, just before closing, my cousin with the skyline is showing up, and you're putting my gas in his tank. I said skyline. No, no, no. no. You like you take uh, twenty bucks yeah, out of the cash right. register. Uh, did you know that uh, New Jersey uh, gas stations are still by law avec service? Really? Why? Yeah. Because it's like New people Jersey. come and pump your gas. Yeah. I wish we had that here. Toronto Sometimes it's we cold have that. There's only Two left. The Shell. Shell right here on Cremazy, right before the. Um, uh, so where uh, the Tim Hortons is sometimes on Cremazy to pick up the coffees. There's a shell there. That's avec service. Where? Right. I just said it on Cremazy uh, and uh, around. 
No, Probably. it isn't that gold there all the time. All right. There's no one there. there there's a uh, where the Harvey's is on Cremazy on this side. Yeah. There's a shell around there. Yeah. That's avec service. What the fuck? How come they never serve me? All right. Uh, and the uh, but in New Jersey and in the the, the downtown core of Toronto, they all have to be uh, uh, avec service. Why? That's amazing. Yeah. Why do you keep saying avec service? Because with uh, service. With service. Like a happy ending. They 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 do your windshield. They check your oil. And they you say bang merci. Them. <laughs> you could fuck them and you give them a toonie. That'd be so funny. <laughs> but if like, you give them a toonie like, in your jersey, service gas station, Poseidon's is like, bro, do, this is my idea. Do not, <laughs> do not give them a toonie in New Jersey. They will be upset. Uh, I did this job for two years, by the way. And I mean. did you did you get a lot of tips? I would make all kinds of tips because I would go, you know, the extra mile, whatever this that. So I made very good. I would put air for people in their tires. Nice. I love the. Uh, I was sixteen. Uh, the one at uh, in Jersey City, right over the bridge. It's wonderful. There's the 7-Eleven. Me and Massimo would eat the burgers and the nuggets there. It was wonderful. Yo, so apparently 7-Eleven food in Japan is phenomenal. Everything in Japan is phenomenal. Well, it depends Especially what you mean by phenomenal, but it's definitely better well, than North America. You, you could eat uh, food off a naked woman in Japan. <laughs> you could do that here, bro. Yeah, you know, you could do that wherever. Yeah, uh, but anyways. over there they got clays. I guess. Um, no, because they're such a clean country, you know what I mean? That the, the food is better than like some fast food joints in North America, you know what I mean? Or I like if it. you compare it to the seven the Seven Eleven food there to like uh, the United States Seven Eleven, like they have like weird, uh, like boring options that they have like all kinds of like crazy shit. Yeah, they're called regionalisms. I get it. I get what huh. you're saying. That's Tanya yeah. Harding. Um, no, what's, that's Mary Lou Retton. What's a Tanya Harding? Uh, She's crazy. Stop getting distracted, man. So, um, I get what you're saying. It's like when you're driving to Toronto or you're driving to New York, yeah. they have the Roy Rogers or the Tim Hortons on the side of the road. But uh -huh. if you're driving in Italy, they have, um, like, the, the food on the side of the road is phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. The uh, auto, auto um, whatever the heck it's called, mm. the uh, auto food right next to the highway. Like, in Italy, you'll have the greatest food ever on the side of the road, whereas... Um, you go to Roy Rogers and it's a bit. Mm, I got it. Yeah, kind of like that. So in Japan, you can buy a, a, a suit and tie in a vending machine in Japan. Really? You can buy panties in a vending machine as well. Use panties. Use that's, panties. That's but that's that's. Yeah, but I'm legit. I, I mean, will go really, to Japan one day. Japan is great. Yeah, I'm gonna make it. Yeah. Well, have you been to Japan? The, but no, but, but I don't will. Say that. Patrick has been there. His his uh, wife is. And of, you were close. Uh, you were in Australia. You could have gone. No, I went to Hong Kong. I rather. Uh, Australia is pretty far from. My it's closer Australia. than us, but it's I'll far. I'll tell you, Australia really? is yeah. over there. It's like a there. what, eight-hour flight, nine-hour flight? Yeah, Australia is over there, <laughs> and we're over here. It's far, bro. It's not a... Yeah, but they're in the same, like... Can I ask you a question about same the, what, the Australians? You know, corner. The, the <laughs> corner of, of the globe. <laughs> did you see the uh, Did you see the Australian show up in the... Uh, in corner the, of a in circle. The, in, <laughs> Did you see the uh, <laughs> us, the Wolverine show up in the Deadpool trailer? What's, it's called Deadpool versus Wolverine. Yes. Did you see that trailer? <laughs> no. Did you see the Wolverine show up in that movie where his it's name is Wolverine. in the title? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dickhead. No, but like, how how long is a flight from Australia to Japan? Now I'm curious. I don't know. I'll check. Australia, Japan. Ju uh, yeah, it's probably flight, flight. Uh, nine hours. Yeah, uh, it's like, like it's like here to Europe. It's like here to yeah, Greece. That's, exactly. It's that's like not here to next Greece. door. It's like, yeah. why don't you get up and go right now to Greece? No, no, but it's closer. It's closer than fuck. If we want to go to Japan, Japan. It's Obviously, like, it, but that's not saying anything. That These are the arguments like, of an imbecile. Yeah, but it takes like You two, told three him, days why aren't you going there? He could easily tell you, why don't you go to Greece tomorrow? It's the same difference. Look, bro. <laughs> what's, a ticket, what's a ticket to Greece right now? 900 bucks? Depends on when you book yeah, it. Yeah, and who you book it with. Yeah. Lufthansa is the best to book with. It's 10 hours. Oh, that's not bad. There's one non-stop here, 10 hours, 15 minutes. Or one stop, uh, 12 hours and a half. Wait, from here to Japan? No, no, from Tokyo to, from, from Australia to Japan. Damn, that's long. The, from the, us, the, I think it's like maybe, f I've said I think it we could probably the, make it in 14 hours. Let's the, be, the best way to go to Australia from here is to stop in Honolulu. So you do two shots, uh, 11 hours and 11 hours. Montreal to Tokyo, 13 hours non-stop. And if you do connecting, it could go anywhere from 17 hours to 21 hours. Wait, hold on. 13 hours nonstop? 13 and a half. So no, 14 you hours. stop for... Uh, 14 hours. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 14 hold hour on. nonstop. That's Mo not bad for a place that's on the opposite side of the globe. You have to go right. nonstop to Montreal. But the only problem is I'm seeing is Air Canada. 
So it's pretty, oh. it must be a tight, tight plane. You get a ticket, bro, we can leave nonstop. Of, and they actually wrote, I swear to God, they wrote, avoids as much, this is on, on Google, avoids as much CO2 as 4,931 trees absorb in a day. <laughs> so I, mine is not anyway. So you can feel good about Round it. trip, bro, 1,800 bucks. A round That's trip, eighteen hundred bucks. It's not Thirteen bad. hour flight, and this is based on us leaving. Uh, uh, I think Friday. We can leave Friday and it, come back Thursday the 29th. And if you put like a Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm sure you could get a better price. Maybe. Round trip, I, I, bro. The That's one, crazy. The, the, the one That's that I bad. liked the most Honestly, was um, um, for some uh, reason Virgin. In my head, I, I flew Virgin from. Um, Either Vancouver or LA to, to Australia, and um, uh, the Richard Branson there, it was nice. No. Uh, the whole f like the the seats were big. Uh, there was uh, free uh, snacks all night. You just walk. There was a whole thing. You just grab apples and yeah. uh, and all the movies were great selection. And on uh, the flight, you mean? Yeah, the this is Virgin Air. Virgin. Every I, I admit it. The, the best flight I took to Australia was Virgin. Did they go bankrupt? But or they still exist. No idea. Richard Branson there. 14 hours non-stop. Non-stop, yeah. Uh, non-stop. <laughs> and uh, what was it? What was the price? 1800 1400 What was uh, the price? It was like 1800 for the, Yeah, it was about... Because I bad. always do one-way trips, and, and it was about 600 something For some reason, for some oh, reason in my yeah. head, I had 2500 in like 20 hours Well, look, 1800 for the trip I just told you. That's very specific and those times. Now, there's another one with one stop. And it's way more expensive. It's twenty seven hundred. Okay, try. I, I never okay. understood that. Try this. How one. is a stop more expensive? Well, Here. normally it's not, but in this case, for some reason, the bet. Yeah, it is the best if trip. Montreal, Tokyo, departing Friday, February sixteenth at one p.m. and it arrives the next day at four forty p.m. Okay, now try and this. And returning one, Thursday, you leave there at six fifteen p.m. and you arrive here at four thirty five p.m. Um, that little trip, bro, less than two Gs, like. Really? But, but, it, but, there's something interesting about like I kind of feel just for the fuck of it, grab my camera and just go. <laughs> but try this one. Try it one way. Do one way. I'm not doing you Honolulu, stupid. Honolulu, Honolulu, no, 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 no. Tokyo. This is, this is some I'm telling you, I could get you shit. there for I don't $600. live in Honolulu. I'm saying do one way Montreal, Honolulu, and then do another one way Montreal, Yeah, but he's going to get molested. Honolulu, They're going to uh, Tokyo. Spike but, his drink. And you'll, you'll bro, pay a quarter of that price. Oh, yeah, I'll pay a quarter of that price, and I'm fucking like an idiot taking my luggage. I'll go to Honolulu, go to customs, and customs again. I got to That's I'm not a nightmare. talking about convenience. I'm talking about price. Yeah, but, but there's the a balance. Point? There's always a, a balance exactly. to think about whether, it, you I, know. I would do it. That's it. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me, Don Juan. <laughs> I would do it. I would do it. Yeah, no um, shit. You know but, who you uh, are? You're Don Juan. <laughs> Don Juan. How much money was... Don um, Juan, but Don, the French word for tooth. You're Don Juan. How much money That's was uh, uh, spent and gambled yesterday uh, during the Super Bowl? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to fucking talk about okay, it. Yeah, I guess I'm never going to financially recover from it. <laughs> there we go. Done. Why did, did, did Taylor Swift win? Yes, sadly, yes, she did. She won? Yeah. And people don't know that she was mean to me, so I hold a grudge. <laughs> A lot of people think I'm just anti-Swift just to be anti-Swift. I'm the only one from all these idiots that support her. They've never met her. I'm the only one that's met her and she's been mean to. You know that? I'm the only one that has to have, that's allowed right now to have a fucking opinion on her character. And her character is garbage. You know, if we're being honest, I don't she blame her. She walked by him swiftly. <laughs> that is true. Uh, man. Oh, did you guys... I mean, I would have kicked me out of the theater too. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> when I think about it, for real, I probably would have just kicked that random park extra. I'm like, why the fuck is he here? However, I still hold a grudge. Do you think? Do you think uh, she was jealous of your hair? She was like, only there can only be one nice set, hair. Like, has I she, remember, nice hair. Remember, she, she sounds like a Highlander. Like, there yeah. can only be one. No, I don't think my, my hair was okay, but I don't think it was as nice as now. I have no idea why she was a cut. It's probably the way she lives. I um maybe I made a noise. I watched. I um, have you seen how much CO two she puts out into the air? Oh, because she flew from Tokyo to go watch the game and flew back. No, 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 no. no. Like I think she took a eighteen. Or, or minute, because of her farts. No, she took an eighteen minute flight once. All right. Just because she was lazy, she didn't want to drive or whatever. She was lazy. Yeah. She does a every, she does a three hour show every night. I think she was lazy. I think it would yeah? take. I think it would take a person. I think three thousand something years to to yeah. do what she did in a year. Who's this? Yeah. Uh, Taylor Swift. Yeah. I don't he, know. He, he says, she, he says she's, she's lazy because she's not walking to each No, all the pollution she did. Yeah. I don't give a fuck, to be <laughs> honest. If you got the jet, do it. But I'm just saying, like, don't. 
Doesn't she like spew like saying Don Planet? Like yeah, they, she's, the, she's one of those people, yeah, who cries. Yeah, and exactly. Goes, Donald Trump is gonna ruin me. Me, that's here's the thing. That's what bothers me about the hypocrisy. It. Exactly. If, right, here's no. the thing. If you're gonna if you're gonna fly your jet and everything, own it. Own it. Own it. I'm sure she bought it. Fly your jet, bitch. I don't fly blame it. you. You made the money. Fly you paid for it. it. To fly the it. Moon. You gotta use it. But then don't go on a fucking podium. I'm not, did you, guys, I I like that. That uh, I'm not gonna lie, I I laughed a lot at that Michael Sarah cream commercial, bro. That that was. Uh, He's trying to sell people his cum. That was Good. sensational. That was Sarah Vero. I, I like. I laughed out loud. Did you see that? No. Okay, that's why you're not. I think that was a good commercial. It was very, very good. You know Michael Sarah, the kid from Superbad, the one yes. that's not Jonah Hill. Uh, wait, Michael Sarah was not in Superbad. Oh, oh right. Go fuck yourself. Uh, He's little the star was, uh, of Superbad. There was McLovin with the kid with the glasses. Oh there was Jonah God, Hill. My, yeah, he was. Oh, right. No. Uh, yeah. I completely. Yeah. That's like saying Michael Schwarzenegger was the Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, he has a commercial, but he committed to it. It's uh, they're basically selling this, uh, you know, like oil of Olay moisturizer cream. Yeah. Eau de Cui. And uh, he did. He went. He did. When I love the cream. No, because it's the a cream that already exists. And, Sarah Vera, and, and they just used him for yeah. the commercial. It's him asking to do a partnership because he goes, look, yeah. it's the like branding. Like, it's, uh, my yeah, name it's is perfect. Sarah. Yeah. So it's my cream. Like, I get it. But, I get but it. it. And then they're the like, we don't want to tell people. It's an 80s pretentious commercial. Yeah. And they're like, we don't want to tell people to put your cream on their yeah. face. And he's talking he's like, to dolphins. It was very well made. <laughs> It was okay, a very I'm going to watch it. And the Duncan commercial of Ben Affleck not taking himself too serious. Yeah, that was fun. I enjoyed that. That one you saw? I saw, yeah. Because the Michael Sarah one would have made you gay. No, it popped up in my feet. Right. Yeah, Mr. Michael T Sarah one would have made him gay. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the Mr. T one was great. I didn't see Mr. T, Mr. but I T? believe it. Mr. Because, T made a um, commercial. Sketchers, you know Sketchers? No. Nah. There's no T in the letter Sketchers. So he could, there's no T in Sketchers. What do you mean there's no T? And it was all of him. No, hold on. What do you mean there's no T in Sketchers? Exactly. There's no, there's no T in Sketchers. In the word Sketchers, yeah. there's no T. So he was there being like, I'm adding the T. Yeah. That's the commercial. It was just that shit. Yeah. Huh. And he was really? wearing the sketches, fool. <laughs> and and the nice one was the tribute. There was a gambling site that uh, always had Carl Weathers in it, but he didn't have a chance to Apollo Creed to film it. And they actually took the fact that they still made the commercial without him and said uh, respect to Carl Weathers. Uh, that was really big. That was a heck of a send off because Carl Weathers, Apollo Creed also played for the NFL. So really? it was a big moment. Yeah. You didn't know that? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. So he's a good uh, dude. Yeah. Carl Weathers. Uh, uh, and uh, in Billy Madison, bro. Oh, yeah. It's true. He passed away, this guy, yeah? Yeah. Recently? Well, and uh, Billy that, Madison was good as is that fucking hand. Yeah. That the no, gator Carl to... You know how he got the role of Apollo Creed? When he showed up and he was uh, reading uh, in the audition with Stallone, he goes, look, man, uh, I could do this, but get a better actor. I don't like this reader you have. And he was talking to Stallone. Stallone said, hire him. He no. has the perfect attitude. Oh, that's yeah. funny. He said, I can't do nothing with this idiot. That's how no. he got the role. Yeah. That's, that's a, cool. I like yeah, that. That's a true story. Have you watched how, you how beautiful, this? because I like Sylvester Stallone. A lot. Uh, uh, have you watched uh, the, family, uh, the, the Family Stallone the, with uh, the reality show with no. Sly and his uh, no, daughters and wife? It's pretty good. Really? I'm not kidding. If you like fucking Rocky, bro, and you like Sly and how gorgeous his daughters are, they're gorgeous, bro. Yeah, he has a statue of himself in his house. Yeah, no, I'm not bringing Adele up his daughters. I like that kind of energy. Adele has his statue. Besides, so keep looking at Guido. Do your thing. Yeah, I'm not bringing yeah. up his daughters. It was oh, not sorry. related. No, no, no. He's bringing up. <laughs> it was 100% not related. <laughs> you look like. Have you seen the movie Don Juan DeMarco? No. It's with Johnny Depp and fat Marlon Brando. Oh, I did see it actually. Yeah. Yeah, where he thinks he's... Uh, he thinks he's a, a... Yeah. He thinks he's uh, the guy yeah. in the book, or the character, yeah. fuck, yeah. what's his name? And yeah. then he's uh, committed to an insti uh, to an institution. Because he's actually insane. The, his character's right. insane, yeah. Anyway. And so then he, he ends up... He ends up you, have Mar his you have Johnny Depp's uh, mustache and uh, on <laughs> Marlon Brando's body. <laughs> yeah. I am both at the same time. <laughs> I <laughs> Did you watch documentaries on how good Brando was, bro? No. Heck of an he, actor. Yeah, heck of an actor. But all he wanted to do was get fat and die. Yeah, he was just so fed up at the end. He invented uh, putting in an earpiece and just talking and who cares. 
Like winging it, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, like feeding him lines. Yeah. yeah. You know, oh, here we go. Here oh, we, we got to talk about this. Have you seen this, Guido? Well, no, I could tell you exactly where this is, okay? This okay, nobody gives a shit. Used just, to be well, that's the, not, we don't care. Uh, we don't care what that Schwartz. building is. Oh, okay. Right? Uh, so, do you know what the Apple Vision Pro is? Well, they're guys uh, who are looking at uh, 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 a universe while walking carelessly in life, not being able to see. No, they are able to see. Oh, okay. <laughs> Or else, how, do they, how would they be walking, bro? You think that's actually kind of cute. It was so innocent. Because it's what I think when you see it. So what's no, happening no, so here? So basically, this is uh, goggles that you can see through, mm -hmm. but uh, it's AR, uh, augmented reality. I think it is augmented that, yeah. retard. It's, it's both. Hey. It's AR and VR. It's yeah, mixed it's, reality. It's, a, it's, it's mixed reality. Yeah. So basically, you can uh, set. Let's say if I had one on, I could put like a dancing elf next to you or whatever the fuck, and I could see the dancing elf, but you can't see it. Like when you want to, you have to go follow your phone to go chase those invisible Pokemon that but no, are not look, really yeah, there. Yeah, but look, 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 you could do while you're sitting, you could right. type. Yeah. It, it, it's like the movie Wall E. Yeah, it's like what? a Minority Has... Report when when Minority Report and Tom. It's Cruise's, very Minority Report esque. Yeah, yeah, when he sees that computer shit in front of him, it, it looks like that to me. Yeah, yeah. So what's crazy about this is that you could leave pins in the universe, mm -hmm. and they stay there. So when you get back, they're there. That's oh, incredible. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah. It is See, it literally augmented reality. So here's the thing. If it didn't look so damn goofy, I'd be like, That's, I mean, this look, is kind of cool. In the future, this is going to be a contact lens. In yeah. the future, uh, future, future. Yeah, like 100 years. No, but a lot sooner than you think. A lot sooner than you this think because it's me. technology is exponential. Yeah, that's true. This is the stuff. But it's so weird, bro, We're turn what we're turning into. Yeah, this is why I, I went crazy. We're going to be Borg. What? Look, this is, we're half this man, half machine. This scares me, bro. I hate this. Well, look, we're half man. Look, this guy's driving, bro. Yeah. yeah. And, he's, and he's typing up an email. Yeah, this is that's awful. Me. I hate it. That's banana. This is bro. Total Recall Taxi. <clears throat> I hate it. I hate it. And he got like, pulled over. Well, it's it's James Corden. That's why. Nah. <laughs> oh, by like fucking a lot of cops. Oh shit. He's working. <laughs> you know, it does have some pretty cool uses. Well, I in saw his lenses, he, he's as big as Schwarzenegger right now in his lenses. I saw, you know who I saw using it? That it's, uh, it was pretty cool. Somebody fixing his car. Okay. So imagine you do work on your own car. You're not a mechanic. I wouldn't trust a mechanic with this thing. Like, if you pull up to a shop and a mechanic is wearing this, run. Why? Okay? Well, because he doesn't know what he's doing. I mean, he, doesn't, he just spent $5,000 on a device. I, maybe I'll trust him. He's clearly... Mm. Oh, like, you make an excellent point. Like, like the cab driver <laughs> who types in your address on Google Maps. Yeah, that's, that's my what favorite. I mean. Yeah, I love that. But there was a video of a guy working on his own car in his own garage. You know what I mean? Because some people do that, especially in the U.S. It's uh, part of the culture in the United States. And everywhere, uh, everywhere people work on their cars. Jesus Christ! But I think. No, but it's it's it's, yeah, it's he just it's part of the culture. No, no, no. You know? But I mean, on your own car, the, you're not going to believe this. But these Americans sometimes yeah. some of them they, they no, choose their own car. No, but it, obviously, every car. obviously, it's more part of their culture than our culture. That is not that true. is not true you at are, all. That, that is, is absurd. Absolute that bullshit. is an absurd statement. I've rarely seen anyone work on their cars in the garages here. Because okay, well, you're too yeah, busy you, eating. You haven't seen them, but it's not. Uh, trust me, a lot of, even <laughs> in Greece, there's car people that just love working well, on cars. How could you say there's, a, there's more mechanics yeah. in the States than there is here? There's, there's 350 equal million amount, people. Yeah. As, uh, ratio per car and working on car, there it's is as many equal, here yeah. than in the States. Really? How could you? Uh, why would you there's say There's just a lot more people, though. There's, there's I don't know. There's more of a car culture in the U.S. It seems. So is Italy. Italy is a huge car culture. Like, come on. Really? How could you say that? You're a car oh, guy. Oh, yeah, Lamborghini, Ferrari. <laughs> How could you? Sorry. Bro, this is a car guy telling you. Yeah, really? that's true. Oh, I, uh, are there automatic cars in Greece? Yes. Yes, but they're, they're that's it. rare. They're that's and I, they're frowned upon. Like every, exactly. Like everybody in Italy, when they go to driving school from 16 years old, they learn yeah, how they to drive manual. manual and mm. they, the only people that have automatic cars... Are uh, tourists the handicaps or tourists? <laughs> or to well, it's the same well, thing. Let me just say, when I was in Greece, I I got an automatic car. Mm -hmm. Not a, like I didn't request it. I just they just gave me one because they probably saw me and were like, hey. I request an automatic car. Like a, and, a Mercedes with but, a, a manual transmission is very rare in Montreal. But thank God they gave me an automatic car, bro, because I almost went tumbling off of a cliff. And I'm pretty sure if I had a manual car and I'm not used to it, I would probably would have went off. Yeah. I probably would have went off. Uh, it turns uh, me on if a hot chick can drive a manual a oh, car. Oh, dude, I know what you mean. Yeah. But there, right now, unless I get more practice, I prefer driving with uh, automatic. I get it. Because they're all lunatics. So I want to be quick. 
I want to be quick. But I, I've I've owned um, a manual car for uh, the whole time I was in LA. Plus, I drove one here, so I was used to it. But I understand where you're coming from because yeah. you have to mm. have the use to. The only thing that I have first to, is where the power is. I, I had to drive. I had to drive my brother's car because I'm selling it, and he didn't put gas before he left. Because of, anyways, um, so I went to go put gas, and your I was brother having, the uh, MMA fighter. Yes. All right. And uh, I had fun driving it. I was like, ooh, I like, I get it. I get it, you know? But then I got stuck in traffic, bro, and I wanted to stab everyone in the neck. Already because your I'm... foot always has to be on the clutch. It's always... <laughs> yeah. And you're fucking kicking all the fucking yeah. time. Yeah. It's so frustrating in traffic, bro. I was like, oh, you son of a bitch. This is the most North American conversation we could possibly be having. Yeah. Everybody in Europe right now has no idea what we were saying. What are you talking about? That's because they all drive manual cars. Yeah, but they can relate. They, they're not retarded, bro. Yeah, but they're, I guess they're but used they're, to they're, it. But they're making fun of the complaint but Poseidon yeah, just I guess, had. But That's I guess what I mean. So yeah, I guess they're used to it in right. Europe. You know what I mean? Yeah. So for them to do that in traffic yeah. is no big deal because they've been like doing normal, it all their life. Right. Exactly. It's like well, picking your nose, which apparently causes Alzheimer's. Did you know that? No way. Mm, none of that is true. This happened this week. Their uh, scientists uh, believe through studies that if you pick your nose... It causes Alzheimer's. That may be the dumbest thing you've ever reported. I didn't report it. I mean, I'm reporting it, but no. I didn't come up with it. I'm curious of how they discovered this. It, like, uh, what's their what's their consensus? They had a study of a lot of people picking their nose. I'm and, like, yo, uh, these guys all have Alzheimer's. Getting dementia. I'll, I'll, you, you know what? A better one is, though, I saw a statistic. It's actually 100% of the people that have Alzheimer's all have drinking water in their life. <laughs> all of them. All of them. That is why I'm pointing it out because it's too. He doesn't absurd. drink water. He's staying safe. Yeah, good job, buddy. Uh, but but literally, uh, there there's a study Actually, that has shown there's here. a country Alzheimer's nose pick. Go spe- ahead. Speaking no, of no, Alzheimer's, no, I got hold a on, because I actually know about Alzheimer's. Spe- Alzheimer's is actually something called type three diabetes. Type three diabetes, diabetes. is Alzheimer's. Really? Uh, is it so? It's um, uh, too much sugar. It's <clears throat> corresponds to a chronic insulin resistance. Um, so type 3 diabetes, Alzheimer's is type 3 diabetes is what they're saying. And there's evidence being reviewed right now. So type 3 diabetes mellitus, uh, corresponds to a chronic insulin resistance plus insulin deficiency state that is largely confined to the brain, but like NASH can overlap with type 2 (coughs) diabetes. Uh, we have proposed that type 3 diabetes represents a major pathogenic mechanism of AD. Neurodegeneration. But this is groundbreaking. Though. It is groundbreaking. Yeah. This is amazing. Uh, so, well, it's still. Well, no, I mean, it's well, amazing that we discovered this. But it's amazing they discovered it now, but they still have to. Because right now it's kind of like what he said about the nose picking. Basically, they found that the, the people that have the memory loss and all the Alzheimer's stuff have this insulin issue in their brain. But they have to make sure that that's. It's everyone that has Alzheimer's has this. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Like yeah. that it's directly correlated. So right now it looks like they're, they're saying in Europe that the oh, science is settled. Shit. They're calling it type 3 diabetes. But in North America, uh, in North I, America we still call it Alzheimer's. What about dementia? What about dementia? Well, that's part of it. I don't know. I, I didn't read a study on dementia. But, but apparently don't a, pick your nose. Bro. There's a village. There's a, that's too late for that. Uh, there's a village in... Uh, I th- not a village. Sorry. There's a country, a northern European country, where... They're trying something a little differently with um, with people that have Alzheimer's and dementia. Like dementia is a term used to describe a group of symptoms affecting yeah. memory, thinking, and social it's ability. It's a general okay. term. General term. So what they do is is they, they one of these northern European countries. I forgot the name of the country. Denmark. Whatever, bro. They Sweden. Built, okay, well, bro, you retarded. They built this fucking village. We don't listen to me for a second. They built this village. It's called Dementia Village, right? And basically, no, 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 but hold on. <laughs> but the way you said Dementia Village, bro, like a video <laughs> so, game. <laughs> so, <laughs> bro, are you so, playing Dementia Village? So bro? The reason why they built this village is because they're trying a different approach. They're trying to, to fuck around, bro. They're, they're but, using it as a video no, game. No, no, no. Let's to, see what happens to, if we give these guys of, cars. So instead of putting people in uh, with Alzheimer's and dementia, instead of putting them into nursing homes and then they escape and they can't find them, they're, they're lost or whatever, they're in danger. What they do is they put them in this village, and this village only has one entrance and one exit. Wow. That's it. And it is guarded 24-7. That's torture. And all. if you let me finish, you will see that it is not. Okay. Um, the people that work usually in nursing homes, what do, what do they call these nurses? Nurses. <laughs> no, but there's a specific term or for orderly. them. No? Orderlies. Or these orderlies. They're dressed as regular people. And in this village, they build buildings where it looks like a real town. 
they have a grocery store, they have uh, all kinds of shit, but there's no price tags. But they treat them like they're, oh, you understand what I mean? I you see fucking what asshole. It, it, it gives them a regular quality of life exactly. instead of looking like the retard exactly. on the bus. Exactly. Oh, I like and, that. And they live. That's nice. They apparently live a, a little bit longer and a little bit better and happier. And also, there's no risk of them like running away. The most humane way to The most deal humane with way oh, to that's deal really nice. with people that have dementia and Alzheimer's. I get it. Yeah. Wait, is this a test though? No, they, they started it to see if it goes well, and but now apparently they're gonna open more because they've seen like incredible results. It's like they built like the Truman Show kind of like Basically, they control yes, the whole yes, world yes, yes, around yes. this person. Wow. Well, they don't really control the world; they just have one entrance, one exit. But you know, they, the whole village is yeah. It's like a Walt Disney for re, for uh, dementia people kind yeah. of, and everyone gets what they want, no exactly. problem. And that is nice that they and even when the they go to the grocery store, they treat them like they're paying. Hey. They like it's not they treat them like they're paying. It's no, no, but they, they even no, no, I know what you're saying. It's actually really cool. Yeah, yeah like the, the old lady hands the, you a box yes, of raisins yes, and yes, you yes. accept it like it's money exactly. at the cash register. And I get it. That's nice. That's, That's uh, really sweet. Yeah, actually, that was I saw that. That was really cool. Yeah. Okay, so according to the Mayo Clinic, wait, what? The Mayo Clinic. The well, the, uh, there's uh, the miracle, the, the miracle whip clinic, and the, the Mayo are you, Clinic. Are you joking? Was that mayonnaise clinic? You don't know what the Mayo Clinic is, eh? No. Or, nor the Miracle Whip. Is clinic. it? Wait, is it M A Y O or M E Y O? M A Y O. Mayo, like mayonnaise. Yeah. It's not mayonnaise. It's the Mayo Clinic, and hold on. Miracle Whip is better. I Pardon? like almonds. Pardon? Miracle Whip has sugar. No good for you. No way. Mayonnaise Clinic. That's it's amazing. not the Mayonnaise Clinic. Mayo no, no, Clinic no, is a non-profit American academic medical hey, the center focused on... the CEO is Gianrico Farugia, bro. Bro, this guy likes mayonnaise or what, bro? <laughs> but the whole point is, on the Mayo Clinic, they describe <laughs> dementia much like the way you just said, okay? So what I'm thinking of is when you look at the symptoms... Yeah. In the village that you described, that must be fucking crazy because apparently they get agitated and shit. Look what happens. Inappropriate behavior. So, yeah. so imagine you're imagine you're, you're like the cashier, yeah. and the guy he doesn't even have to pay, and he's like, "Why the fuck don't I have to pay? Why the fuck don't no, I have to pay?" They don't know. They think they're paying. Do you understand? Yeah, no, explain it. So like, back, oh, back, back so up. I want to see scan. what the cognitive so changes in this, are. In this village, they have their freakouts, but they're able to have their freakouts, and everyone always forgets anyways. And the people they hired are actors. So they and do they have freakouts, but it's okay. Yeah, because the people that are that, are, that have been put there. Because they have dementia, are gonna forget it anyways. Okay. Or Alzheimer's, and the people that are hired to take care of these people treat it like it's n no problem. Uh, Michael Jackson they, they, they hired, hired people. Did you know Michael Jackson wanted to go shop at the supermarket? Yes. Yeah, so he hired, and he hired a bunch of it. extras he to too fake it. He had dementia. Um, but here, re read what the symptoms are. So of these, it's, uh, it's you know it. It's what we said. It's memory loss, uh, yeah. problem reasoning, all that. Shit. Trouble with visual and spatial abilities, such as getting lost while driving. Problems with reasoning or problem solving. Trouble performing complex but tasks. You, yeah, we already know them, bro. No. Yeah, it's it's not it's it's nothing new. It's just that it's crazy, especially the depression part. Psychological. <laughs> That's not funny. Now you modified that. Now you. <laughs> There's no way homosexual tendencies is one of the things of uh, of. Uh, I'm sure it's possible. Of, uh, I'm sure it's possible of dementia. Bro. I'm sure it's possible. You can't forget you're straight, bro. <laughs> bro. It's not <laughs> everyone that has memory loss. These, it's different than memory loss. Memory loss is one of them. I Look, decide, but how so this is memory loss. The cash register. <laughs> if you have to pay for your food, sometimes you have no money. You blow the cash. I don't you know. think it's related to that. You guys are being dumb. Uh, it's just a cognitive change. No, no. Personality then, changes. Yeah, but I exactly. understand how, how you have dementia or Alzheimer's. Anxiety, and depression. These are all things I have. All of a sudden you're having gay sex. Inappropriate like. behavior. Racial slurs. That one I get. <laughs> <laughs> that one I get. <laughs> it's, it's very common amongst but, uh, uh, Nono and Papu. Uh, yeah. Very, very old. Went though. to see a doctor. Things <laughs> start blowing dudes. Being huh? suspicious. Or known as paranoia. Seeing things that aren't there are known as hallucination. Which is very close. Like, I don't know why they separate these two. But hold on. How does your sexual... <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Because it says homosexual tendencies, bro. It doesn't say that you're going out blowing dudes. It just says... Oh, you what could be, it could be you're wearing tendencies. a very effeminate shirt. No, I don't know. Maybe you... Maybe, I don't know. You're, do, like you're doing something that's not... Maybe you're jerking something. I don't know. You're curious you're, about a dude's dick. But you're, you're wearing not, you're a not, blouse you're, instead you're of a shirt. You're not being gay. You just, you just have a but tendency. But that's not homosexual tendencies. Because if, you don't know. You're just like, what is that? I don't know. But like like a five-year-old. Let's look up homosexual tendencies. I wonder if it's like a handicap. 
What does it say? Latent homosexuality. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> what is a what homosexual, is homosexual ten, OCD? Is this oh, tendency? Yeah, the first one. No, the first one. Then this? we'll check the other one. Yeah. What does it say? Homosexuality is a sexual attraction, romantic attraction, or sexual behavior between members of the same sex. Okay, or gender. so it's romantic. Maybe you're being very romantic to people around you. Uh, you're like, I love you, bro. Yeah, buying, okay, that makes sense. Chocolates. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes buying sense. chocolates. Yeah, but right away, but right to throw old people <laughs> under the bus. No. <laughs> Right away, I thought of two old dudes fucking. Yeah, what, what, what if you want to buy some chocolates to Ralph? Ralph's yeah. a nice man. Yeah, so but why is that homosexual? Because you give him a box Tendencies. of chocolates and you give him a kiss on the raw cheek. dog in it, bro. No, I understand, but how is giving another man chocolate gay? You kiss him on the mouth after. You're the one who called it gay. No one called it gay. No, but yeah. they're saying homosexual tendencies. Yeah, he but said. I don't know. We don't know what it is. You just said a lot of stuff. It says liking it, uh, another, like being romantic with another person. If so I you might just be like holding someone's hand and be like, I love you, bro. But you're not going to bang him, but you feel love. If I hold love. your hand and say I love you and I hand you a box of chocolates, will no you think that's gay, Poseidon? If but you I buy do me a box of chocolates? With a heart-shaped box of chocolates while I'm holding your hand and I give it to you, will you say that's a homosexual tendency? I would say that's gay, yes. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Unless you're Indian. Okay, so for example, the Indians, they do that. Yeah, they hold pinkies. Yeah, so here we would think it's gay. What kind of Indians? Like from India or the, natives? No, the brown ones. Okay. No, no, the, for real. He's not like he's saying it retardedly. Yeah. But for real, they're the like the Indian Indians men from do India. That. It's not a problem. They hold pinkies when they walk yeah. on the street, two dudes. But to them, it's not gay. Russell it's Peters. Yeah, got a whole in bit in about Italy, it. in Italy, uh, I don't know if the Greeks walk around like this, but uh, in small villages in Italy, when walking, you know, to the gelato place in the summertime, and you're talking to your cousin, he will hold you like like you're holding the bride walking down the aisle with your arms. That's <laughs> fine. That that's uh, yeah that's fine yeah yeah we're I've, shoulder to shoulder like I've this. had cousins do that in Italy and I thought yeah. it was like that's an invasion of my space so then I just blew him. What? That's a weird way to confess. No, but it's very common there. I I did not blow my cousin. No, but uh, well, we, well, no, what's common we there to blow you your cousin? <laughs> but why'd you say it's very common to blow your cousin? <laughs> um. Oh, you know what? They, do they have this in Montreal? You know when um, you go to a special spot, like the uh, wherever, some river, some beach area, and everybody has like a lock, and they, they put a lock uh, uh, on that fence, and you, you kiss your, your bride, and you throw the you put the lock there, and you kiss her, and you throw the lock in the ocean, and there's like a series of locks. Everywhere. Are you talking about that bridge in Paris? Uh, there's so many I of ha- them. I honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about. It's it's usually a lover's, um, almost like, here, you know, Mount Royal here, there's a, a parking spot where uh, uh, teenagers go make out, like the lookout, and we're yeah. you know, the Montreal. So at that fence there, there's a lock and key thing. So you, you go to monuments like that around the world, uh, maybe, but the Trevi Fountain doesn't have that, but places in Naples or, uh, where they just, you, you kiss your, your, your lover and you lock the thing there. Our love is always, and you throw the key into the water. Bro, you're going to lose your mind. Do you know how we're talking about mixed reality? Yes. Oh, fuck. Oh, they're highlighted. Louis Louis body dementia. That's what the... Mixed, mixed dementia. dementia, yeah. Autopsy on, studies. Uh, oh. Sorry, because I want to read. Okay. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go read. You read. You read. Oh, mixed dementia. Autopsy studies of the brains of people age 80 and older who had dementia indicate that many had a combination of several causes. People mixed uh, with mixed dementia can have Alzheimer's disease, vascular dementia... And Louis body dementia. I don't know what that is. That's what Robin Williams had. Is that it? Yeah. Studies are ongoing to determine how having mixed dementia affects symptoms and treatment. So, like, that's what I'm telling you is maybe just having the Alzheimer thing might be like a type 3 diabetes insulin. But if your whole body is fucked up and you have frontal, uh, front temporal dementia. Well, my, my grandfather. This is what, uh, who had this? Robin Williams? Robin Williams had that, yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. I think my grandfather had this. Robin Williams didn't hold on, have hold on, it. Hold on, hold on. Louis bodies are balloon-like clumps of protein. They have been found in the brains of people. Oh, no. My grandfather didn't have this. No, uh, no. They, 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 they thought he had... Um, hold on, hold on. I'm listening to uh, Poseidon. Yeah. Oh, shit. They have been found in the brains of people with Louis body dementia, Alzheimer's disease, and Parkinson's disease. Oh, that's shaky one. Louis body dementia is one of the more common types of dementia and homos... Uh, wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Louis body dementia is one of the more common types of dementia and homosexual elders. Oh, shit. So you're talking about gay old men. Get this. 
<laughs> it doesn't say that's in. Lemon it party. says and. That's bro. what I said. And, but I don't. I don't so understand. So if you the if you type in lemon party, that's oh, no. Louis body well, dementia don't type that is in. one of the more common. What's a lemon party? Someone huh? someone tricked me once when I was a child, and I and what I was got, that? I got scarred. It was a bunch so, of okay. Okay. Apparently, so, that's so, what that apparently is? dementia is common, and homosexual elders are common. Yeah. Well, I, I, I wouldn't I mean, call I them guess. homosexual. I, call I would them just homos. call them lonely. I don't know. But my grandfather, me, me I'm worried about dementia. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I know. That I know. That was such I know. a funny segment. I know, I know. Because my grandfather. <laughs> no, I, I want to talk about it. Cause, uh, Sometimes old people are lonely and they just no, want to hug. No, but what worries me is because uh, I've been compared to my grandfather from my mom's side and that lived in Greece for the longest time. I have the same style as him. Say We speak the same way. Like, similar, like, kind of like him and his grandfather. Yeah. Uh, you, my but, grandfather loved whores. But okay, yeah. okay. You know, wait, wait, wait. who doesn't? <laughs> no, so, but like, he loved whores. So you know what, what I mean? Wor- what are you worried about? So he's not worried. He's very hex. <laughs> <laughs> so my grandfather uh, uh, eventually uh, got dementia. He didn't get Alzheimer's. He got dementia, and I think he. What happened was he started getting like these weird, like he started getting really sick, like his health started deteriorating even more because he wouldn't eat, wouldn't take care of himself. Jesus. And he started getting like pus started uh, leaking out of his legs. What uh, did he have? We'll look his shit up. But wait, is did that? Did he have what? dementia? He had dementia. What yeah. is it? And, and, slow and, and progressive or quick? It was slow and progressive. That's awful. I got to even Google that. That is awful. And uh, it's what? Awful. Like, but like what he would do? What he would do is uh, like he would wake up bright and early in the morning, and then he'd put on a suit and everything, and then hop on the scooter. And then go to the coffee shop that was a 30-second walk from his house. Okay. You know what I mean? But in so his mind, weird. he had a long trek. But then, like, at fucking 2 in the morning, he'd wake up in the middle of the night and in boxers, run to the fields. Because my, my grandfather had, like, a lot of land. So he ran like there in his, in his So he would fanella. run in his, in his yeah. tidy whities, yeah. and he would run there, and he would start working on the fields as if he was working back in the day. But he knew what he was doing. He didn't. No, but that's the thing. In his mind, he was happy. In his mind, so. he knew. Huh? Wait, uh, brain skizzle. stuff like that, huh. the people who suffer are the ones around the, yeah. the so patient. So the actually, patient is very happy. Yeah, so I'm actually worried about that shit myself because my grandfather, I, I think. No, you you make a lot of sense. There's Bro, nothing you say that does on, not make Parkinson's? sense. Parkinson's? No, for when I get older, you piece look of at this, garbage. Look at this, look at this. Parkinson's, that'll fuck you, right? Many Parkin- people with Parkinson's disease eventually develop dementia symptoms. When this happens, it's known as Parkinson's disease dementia. Damn. Hey, said Bro, but disease. This is the worst thing I ever read. Look. Yeah. Uh, Kreutzfeldt Jacob disease. Look. This rare brain disorder usually occurs in people without known risk factors. That's crazy. Because what does then, that mean? Like, the, there's no known risk factors. Like, let's say uh, the uh, Alzheimer's. Well, like, they say it's insulin, all that. Let's say you have no risk factors, and then bam, you suddenly develop uh, this. This condition might be due to deposits of infectious proteins called prions. But we don't know yet. They have to Symptoms study. of this fatal condition usually appear after age 60. Uh, Kreutzfeldt Jacob disease usually has no known cause, but it can be That's passed down sexually from a parent. Wait, what? what? Excuse me, what? <laughs> Wait, what? It can be passed down sexually from a parent? I don't know if that means what we think it means. Hold on, hold on, bro. No, it. Um, is this a real fucking clinic, bro? What is yeah. Mayo Clinic Org, bro? How do you not know what remember, Mayo Clinic is? This is not real, bro. Yes, hold it on, is. Bro. Passed down sexually from a parent. Remember, uh, COVID I don't is know if they uh, mean asymptomatic. No, I don't think it means what we, we think. We I think, mean, you think it means you think Yeah, I don't think that's what it means. Uh, it, it comes because you come from a vaginal uh, area. But then they said over 60. People over 60 get it. So exactly, people that's what over I'm saying. 60 have the pleasure of having sex no, with their no, elderly it doesn't parents. Mean, no, then <laughs> Poseidon's right. Then clearly it doesn't mean what we think. It, we're just retarded. Yeah. It can't mean yeah. that. It, it doesn't make any sense. It also may be caused by exposure to diseased brain or nervous system tissue, such as uh, from a mm. cornea transplant. That's very oddly specific. You gotta go buy yourself a cornea, bro. Dementia no, like conditions. I told you, look, you see metabolic? I told you, bro, there's something with the fucking shit we're putting inside us. Multiple schools. Dementia like conditions that can be reversed. Infections oh. and immune disorders. Dementia like symptoms can result from a fever or other side effects of the body's attempt to fight off an infection. Multiple sclerosis. What is this? I've heard about this multiple times. Is that the thing where your bones rot or some shit? Oh, I don't know. Hey, you got to smoke weed for that one. And other conditions caused by the body's immune system attacking nerve cells also can cause... Bro, who wrote this? An eight-year-old wrote this. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, where are you? <laughs> uh, side effects of the body's attempt to fight off an infection. Multiple sclerosis and other conditions caused by the body's immune system attacking nerve cells. Why is that retarded? I mean, it's super can, science, but why is, that, why is that retarded? I don't, I don't know. I guess I'm retarded. What do you want me to say? Uh, but just because they're complicated words, bro, and me yeah. and you are retards. Low levels of certain nutrients. Not getting enough certain vitamins or minerals in your diet can cause dementia symptoms. 
This includes not getting enough uh, thiamine, also known as vitamin B1, which is uh, common in people with alcohol use disorder. Oh, alcoholics. It also includes Sons not getting bitches. enough vitamin B6, <laughs> vitamin B12, copper, or vitamin E. Not drinking enough liquids leading to dehydration also can cause dementia symptoms. Yeah, because then you're not feeding the brain properly. Medicine side effects. Side effects of medicines. A reaction to a medicine or an interaction of several medicines can cause dementia-like symptoms. Subdural bleeding. This is crazy. I'm telling you, dude, it's fucking, it, it, it's it's terrifying me. No. Nah. But this explains a lot. I remember, remember, bro, in October at the end of Mike's tour? Uh, at the end what of Mike's, Mike's tour? Yeah. yeah. My, my, Mike Ward, our Mike. Um, it was at, uh, what was the place? Uh, What's that venue called, bro, that he did it? That he Club taped Soda. It? Club the Soda. Bell, Bell Center. I was going to say Soda Club. Uh <laughs> Bro, that day I had gotten so sick, bro. I don't know what the fuck I was fighting, bro. You know derealization? De realization? No. That's when your your world seems off. Like it doesn't seem real anymore. It almost sounds like a bowel movement. I had no, de realization. No, no. De realization is when when your brain, I guess there's too much happening. And like everything starts to get warpy and weird and it doesn't feel real. Like everything is kind of moving. I got so sick, bro. I don't know what the fuck I was fighting, but I did, I did a COVID test at the time because it was still being talked about. And it came back negative. But, bro, when I tell you I had never been sick like that in my fucking life. Bro, it was so bad. I was, like, trembling on the couch. Ugh. Oh, don't you hate that? Dude, it was, I the had shivering never. Sweats? Dude, it was so bad. The I shivering sweats. It was Just so him bad. saying that makes me feel weird. Bro, at the some point, at some point I, and I feel terrible about this. I remember, I think uh, I think your your agent or manager was there. Yeah. And, like, it was so hot for me. Yeah. And this was in October where I had to, I, I couldn't take it anymore. And then, like, while people are talking, Mike's talking with uh, your agent and everything. And me, I was just like, I couldn't take it anymore. I just removed one of my shirts, and I was just in a tank top. Okay. And I'm, I realized now I must have seemed like an insane person and threw my jacket over. Well, maybe you had one of these outside. gay side effects. But I was, maybe. <laughs> That's probably what was happening. But I was so of your out of it. I was so out of it. I couldn't, like, I couldn't, I could like, it was so bad, bro. And then outside, I was walking, and it was cold. Oh. It was like, it was like fucking October, yeah, two degrees, winter, bro. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? With high winds in October. You know how October yeah. gets high winds sometimes. I am burning hot, bro. Burning, Hunk of burning sweating, love. sweating. I had to remove my jacket. For the That's record, the, the best Elvis song is Burning Love. And uh, yeah, I may have gotten, I was so sick. I may have had like temporary dementia. So was that COVID? No, it wasn't because I tested negative. But I was. Uh, those dude, tests are bullshit. Apparently, they said. But I had. Uh, yeah, that's true. Well, no, negative as in pessimism. <laughs> <laughs> I tested but, negative. I was very sad that day. Yeah, <laughs> I had <laughs> never been, and and the the actually the only per, one of the pe few people that realized was Chris Ramsey. Like, uh, you know, everyone was like, "Oh, bye," and everything, shaking hands and shit. And he he was the only one that was like, "Nope." Because well, he he made your he, symptoms. He, he know your no symptoms disappear. Yeah, he noticed <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, what? Because he's a magician and stuff. And, uh, yeah, dude, but I was, I don't know what the, that was fighting, bro. That was more than a cold. That was like, I was fighting demons, bro. That was occult. I think occult. you got COVID. I was fighting, bro. Maybe. Like, because that's what, that's excessive. Like, dude, it was bad. The last two days, thank God, uh, Lumarin was there, bro. Why? Bro, because Lumarin took over for everything. Oh, because you were fucking done. Bro, you don't understand, bro. I couldn't stand up straight. I was standing up gaily. Hey. No. Uh, no, but bro, I couldn't, I like, I couldn't stand, bro. Like, I was like, bro, what is happening? Like everything. I don't even know how the fuck I drove home. Dude. So, um, we mentioned this the other episode and this is coming up now this weekend. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be, uh, once again, uh, getting that, uh, uh, try to fake gray hair thing happening. It's happening what? this weekend. Why, bro? Because why do you? Why I, do you? Sub Let me ask you. Between the the ring, the stomach ring in Tijuana, and the oh yeah, we didn't Mexican complete that dentist, story. That was Doctor Ortiz. Yeah, because you keep jumping from topic to topic. Yeah, and and, and the fucking and the fake gray hair. When you have natural gray hair, why do you what, do this, this to yourself? <clears throat> why must you, you? You know what you are. You're like one of those priests that sinned that molested a kid, and he's whipping himself. In if the back. you if you have to take promo <laughs> pictures. How would you look? Would you look like this? What do you mean promo pictures? Because I have to take promo pictures. That's why I need to have the... the I would shave my head right now. Really? If I were yeah. You. Yes. 
So you'd it's better to shave my head and have the beard? Yeah, with the beard, you'd look uh, rugged. Oh, right? Yeah, with the shades too. No, I'm not going to wear the shades. You can't have Why promo not? pictures with... Oh, promo pictures, yeah. You could have some, you need, but you, you need, need some yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, I don't know why I said shades. Somebody... Because uh, you're wearing them now. But So I th- this week, you, th- the next episode, you're going to see the result. It'll be very funny. Why does he... <laughs> can I ask you, why does he subdue himself to these things? Subdue, because um, for a couple of years... Let, let me tell you something. <laughs> I dyed my hair blonde once, and I vowed to never do that shit again. Yeah, you look like a, a fat Jacques Villeneuve. No, not because That's of the look, you fucking retard, but because of the process you and all that bullshit. You burned your hair. You I burned my hair, bro. Burned even your after, hair. even after, like I got a buzz cut or whatever, like my hair was not. It was weird for like a, a, a month or two. You know, it's just the the shit. It's either postpone the photo session, or uh, or shave your head, or or or. But she. But does, is this photo session really important? According to. Uh, uh, my friend who wants to produce a couple of shows, she's she would like me to look like the Sean Connery shit I look like with uh, Ted Bird sitting next to me. She wants me to look like that uh, w- before Christmas with the nice gray and all that stuff. She doesn't want me to look like this, but she wants to take pictures for the show ASAP. So we have to like Photoshop my gray hair. Or something. Life hack. Right. There is a pomade or a gel What's paste. pomade? Pomade yeah, is like, like you a... Could, I told, I suggested the paint. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you could, you could put that on and, you know, style your hair and well, everything. Well, that's what we're going to try this weekend. it'll look actually great. Oh, that's, that's what you're going to do, the pomade. We're going to do something. Ah, but don't, don't dye your hair gray, bro. Whatever it is, I don't care. I'm just happy they <clears throat> show an interest in this bug. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Wait, are you doing a show? I uh, There's a couple of shows I have uh, coming up in... Uh, WAP shows? Yeah, for, well... The uh, the the WAP shows will be like maybe around uh, what are we? Maybe May. Maybe, Wait, this uh, is for comedy. Let me ask you: Does comedy? anyone do you have schizophrenia? Because that's what we we're looking up earlier. I'm not sure. How would I know? Do you have other voices telling you to do things? No. Okay. Uh, by the way, that's not. Uh, so here's the thing. Isn't Defin- that what schizophrenia is? Definition: I, I, Schizophrenia is a mental disorder characterized by disruptions in thought process, perceptions, emotional responsiveness, and social interactions. So technically, it's not what we thought. That it's just blah, blah, like I'm seeing. Really? No, the idea of what you think schizophrenia is and what it really is. is well, no. I've dealt with a person with schizophrenia, but and the, the first my, time my, I dealt my with voice it. is always mine in my head. No. Okay, but the, there was. A, I remember when I worked at Telus, there was uh, this lady. It took me a while to catch on because it was a, my first time ever dealing with. Somebody like that, she walked in and she would look a little like off, you know. And she was walking and she was looking to buy a phone. Finally, she never bought a phone because she's a schizophrenic. Well, uh, they need phones. Or talk to all their peoples. Yeah. Or when talk I, when to I was voices. at the Jewish, I saw legit schizophrenics. But that, because like, it's too far now. Here, let me read it. Uh, you so, want me to start what, from what the top? What is schizophrenia? Yeah. yeah. Schizo- so at least schizophrenia. We said. Probably has a Greek origin, that Obviously. word. Obviously. Is a mental disorder characterized by disruptions in thought process, processes, perceptions, emotional responsiveness, and social interactions. Although the course of schizophrenia varies among individuals, schizophrenia is typically persistent and can be both severe and disabling. Which is fucking crazy. Symptoms of schizophrenia include psychotic symptoms such as hallucinations, delusions, and th- uh, thought disorder, unusual ways of thinking. Uh, as well as reduce expressions of emotions, reduce motivation to accomplish goals. But difficult- that, that could be a lot of other stuff. Yeah, it's not- I know. That's it's why very I- vague. Yeah, difficulty in social relationships, motor impairment, and cognitive impairment. Although symptoms typically start in late adolescence or early adulthood, schizophrenia is often viewed from a mental, from a developmental perspective. Cognitive impairment and unusual behavior sometimes appear in childhood. And persistent presence of multiple symptoms represent at uh, a later stage of the disorder. This pattern may reflect disruptions in brain development as well as environmental factors such as uh, prenatal or early life stress. Oh, fuck. That's interesting. This perspective fuels the hope that early interventions will improve the course of schizophrenia, which is often severely disabling when left untreated. But does that mean if you drug a kid when he's young? Maybe. Here it says Uh, early 30s. Yeah. It's, uh, Age of onset for schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is typically diagnosed in the late teens uh, years to early 30s and tends to emerge earlier in males, late adolescents, early 20s, than females, early 20s, late early 30s. Oh, bitches hide it. Yeah. More subtle changes in cognition and social relationships may precede the 
actual diagnosis often by years. Jesus Christ. Is it common? Does it say? <coughs> Prevalence of schizophrenia. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you schizoid, bro. Yeah, I probably am. Precise prevalence <laughs> estimates of schizophrenia are difficult to obtain due to clinical and methodological yeah. factors such as the complexity of schizophrenia diagnosis. It's overlap with other disorders and varying methods for determining diagnosis. Given okay. these complexities... Wait, oh, oh sorry, just, I can't see. I can't oh, see. You're yeah, yeah. yeah, you're skipping a lot. Yeah, go back here. up. Go back up. Oh, yeah, right here. Uh, uh, diagnosis. Given these complex, uh, complexities, schizophrenia and other psychotic disorders are often combined in prevalence estimation studies. It is not always clear if a patient suffers from schizophrenia or simply has... <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Germanic or Mongolian ancestry. Oh, yeah, because some, some DNAs... Yeah, yeah. The, I yeah. guess they're more... Uh, uh, some DNAs are not like mayonnaise, funny. you know? <laughs> But, a uh, summary of, uh, <laughs> you're, bro, you're fucking with me, bro. What is this? What's the, the nimh dot nih dot gov, bro? What is nih this? is literally the National Institute of Health, bro. What the fuck's wrong with you? Oh, okay, sorry. The, it's, there's a burden of schizophrenia. Let's uh, uh, across studies that uh, use household-based survey samples, clinical diagnosis interviews. Huh. Uh, in the U.S. range between uh, the point twenty five and point sixty four, a margin so of. So that's error. not even one yeah. percent. No, that's that's like the same as. Uh, you you have less chances of being uh, schizophrenic than uh, trans or yeah trans or like gay. it's very low. So you won't yeah. like how often will you come across? But it says that not everyone is polled. But how do you poll people? You call them and tell them, bro, you schizophrenic. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, eh? <laughs> A margin of error exists as many poor's in the U.S. do not live in the traditional homes and cannot be polled correctly. Uh, okay, go down. Burden of schizophrenia. Despite its relatively low uh, prevalence, schizophrenia is associated with significant health, social, and economic problems. Schizophrenia is one of the top 15 leading causes of disability in blacks worldwide. 4.9% really? of schizophrenia die by suicide. That's Jeez. awful. Damn. The estimated average potential life loss for individuals with schizophrenia in the U.S. is 28.5 years. I don't even know what the hell it is. What does that mean? What is, I don't know. So the, the, like their life expe uh, somebody who says uh, schizophrenic, They're, their life expectancy is thirty years less. Is uh, twenty eight point five years. Yeah. So the the averagely live uh, until that. Averagely. Age. Yeah, I made up a new word. Go fuck yourself. Averagely, like me and my uh, cigarettes and my asthma pump. Like yeah, my, yeah. Averagely, you're live. hilarious. Yeah. Wait, oh, old school Demorier, by the way. Oh shit! Where, where the fuck did you find that? Yeah, thank you. That's weird. Keep talking weirdo. Did you really smoke these? Yes. Yeah, you're insane, bro. Oh. Right. Uh, Co-occurring medical conditions such as heart disease, liver disease, and diabetes Jesus. contribute to the higher premature mortality rate among low-income individuals with schizophrenia. Possible reasons for this excess early mortality are increased rates of these medical conditions and under-detection and under-treatment of them. An estimated 4.9% of people with schizophrenia die by suicide, a rate Fuck. that is far greater than the general population with the highest risk in the early stages of illness. Wait, because imagine you're living... Normally, and then all of a sudden, you could hear the devil. Yeah, it'll fuck with your head. You know that what is, I mean? That is very. Um, um, I'm I'm not familiar with that at all. What do you you meant that sarcastically? No. We have a schizophrenic. Talk to the devil okay, here all the read. time. He calls into the show. <laughs> what are you saying? I Financial always talk to the devil. Financial costs associated with schizophrenia are disproportionately high relative to other chronic mental and physical health conditions. A high relative sounds like a stoned cousin. Uh, reflecting both direct costs of healthcare as well as indirect costs of loss of productivity, criminal justice involvement, social service needs of Jesus poor's, Christ. and other factors beyond healthcare. Damn. In the criminal justice system, there are two types of the data world. sources. Let's see, uh, their sources? It's going to be something stupid. What are you talking about? It's a medical paper. The bro. data the source is Mark bro? McGrath from um, Somebody Just Talk. What? Like, sudden, it's a. Uh... It's the NIH, bro. They're celebrating 75 years, bro. The National Institute of Mental Health. Damn. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It feels like a blockbuster page. Like, why not? I don't know. Oh, uh, the blue and the white and the yellow here. Yeah. Smelled of good. I uh, know. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's a legit popcorn. page. Damn. Yeah, for, it's the NIH. Bro, how the fuck do you not know the, inst the National Institute of Health? They're the NIH. Like, literally, all the COVID <laughs> stuff, all the measures and shit. Oh, it was them. Wasn't they were the ones that were deciding. Wasn't, wasn't it the who? It's Fauci. No, who is the World Health Organization? Wasn't it the in, owls? In, in the U.S., it's uh, the NIH. That's... 
Really? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Crazy, eh? We got the owls and the... I gotta find something more light, what? lighthearted. I, 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 when was the last time you were yeah, at Yeah, why'd you bring this up? I didn't know. Because I thought it was gonna be interesting, but then I realized that we gotta depressing. end funny. Yeah, I gotta... <laughs> when, what the when was the last was that, time you went dude? to Costco? I remember. Besides, what restaurant have you eaten at recently? Well, because I, I was gonna get there, but go Subway. Okay. Mm, I was no. going to check their ingredients, but I don't think there's anything fucked up At there. Costco, they have delicious that, samples. You meant that sarcastically? No, no, I don't think there's, like, Subway is, is, is bread and sandwich. Have you like, ever you had, put, you I had choose, a wrap, I had a wrap. But you choose what yeah. you're going to put in there, so there's nothing funny. Yeah. In. I don't uh, think there's anything bad in there. Have you ever had a soup at Tim Did you have anything questionable that you want to look up and then it'll ruin your life? No, no, no. Well, did, or did you stop eating questionable shit? Huh? O- Orange juice. Did you stop eating questionable oh, shit? Oh, the last restaurant, actually, uh, Olive Garden. Where's the, the Olive Garden in Montreal? Oh, yeah, he Where did you go? I went to Burlington, yeah. Oh, when did fine. you go to Burlington? It's the olive, it's the lettuce yeah. and chicken. Bro, because last time I couldn't have breadsticks, remember? Bro, but it's all you can I eat breadsticks. I ate six breadsticks and I didn't even Bruxtics. notice. I didn't even realize I ate six. No, that was like when I you I would I make the them, focaccia and, and at then the we restaurant. Were done eating, we you left, would just quietly my, put them in your mouth. Yeah, and my girlfriend goes to me, by the way, <laughs> uh, you ate six breadsticks. I'm like, what? I'm on a diet. Yeah. Oh, I gotta get back in the starch pizza business again, man. Oh fuck, bro, it was so good though. I uh, I contacted some friends. I don't, For I don't, what? I don't like getting pizza jobs through oh, uh, Indeed. I, I like getting a referral. Who the fuck gets a pizza job through Indeed? That's okay, first of all, that's amazing. But also Subway, when I click on the nutrition, it opens up a well, it turned- nine-page PDF. Yeah. Well, Jared from Subway became really healthy. You saw, him. but all everything that's popping. Yeah, but they also head. fuck kids. No, no, but everything. Maybe that, that was the yeast they used. Gluten free bread as packaged contains eggs. Fla- so bro, far, what are you I, still doing here, bro? Why would you say something like that? That's disgusting. Oh, rep. Unbleached bro, wheat run, flour. Run DMC made their own Neonsin. It's garbage shit, but it's all the same garbage. It's nothing. Yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. cum in it. I'm so old. I call rap Run DMC. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> Uh, but we, that's why I told you I really knew they just use the processed shit. It's not good for you, yeah, but look, it's way better than bird shit. It, it, Apparently, well, they had to change the thing, their yeast was, and make their bread work. more nutritious. I was at work. Subway. I didn't have time to prepare lunch, or I was too lazy, rather. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go grab a wrap. It's got meat, cheese. Were you supposed to buy a thousand burritos again? I gotta, I gotta go buy burritos as well. But what now, are you gonna buy? What flavor? Oh, uh, very simple: beef, chicken, and uh, breakfast. Oh. Beefy chicken. Yeah. Beef, chicken, and breakfast. Yeah. And you just eat those all day. No, just uh, when I need them. I could say Subway in the States is better than Subway in uh Canada. Really? Yeah. Explain. Well, when I lived in L.A. and I would go for their, uh, you know, healthy uh, alternative of the wrap and stuff, their ingredients of what was inside was healthier and better uh, than uh, what's available I, at I just, the Subways here. I, I just uh, fact. Take, I just take the fact. wrap because... I'm just saying the even the quality of the ingredients so, and the shit they put inside, like the chicken is not... Yeah. First well, of all, you went to Berlin. Thing, Why don't you go to Chick Fil A, man? I don't think they have a Chick Fil A. Well, they have one in Plattsburgh. It's but sensational. We were thing. supposed to go. Here's the thing. Uh, oh, bro, this is so funny. I had the wrap. But Olive not the Garden bread. semen found in fast food. Analysis of a restaurant food by a young woman at hey, Olive Garden. When you're here, you're gay hold on, family. Hold on, the presence of semen from HIV or STD positive men. You see, but Snopes investigated it. Snopes. False. <laughs> Speak. I don't trust oh, Snopes though. So Snopes, may, but you know what? Snopes says it's false. Yeah, but Snopes is the, the same type of people that say false about shit that is obvious. I was outside. On Reddit, they say Olive Garden semen story debunked on Reddit. How, how'd you like okay. the uh, syringe we found outside? Yo, that was... I am seeding... A, I am seeding. I'm seeding. And, and that is <laughs> I was going to say, I'm seeding a lot of crackhead activity. <laughs> that was not... That was I'm not, seeing a lot of crackhead, uh, crackhead activity lately. I believe I, it. I have injected testosterone. That is not a testosterone needle. Just yeah, no, in no, case... No. I, that was that a heroin for, needle. I've seen heroin needles, bro. That was 100% a heroin needle I've we saw I've seen heroin... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Right in the middle of where we smoked. That's disgusting. What a... What a Shameful. Yeah, dude. Every, this is what happens under Trudeau's government. Everything this is, goes down, we are downhill. In the district of our Canadian Heritage Minister. There's raccoon her cum office in, is in feet Tim away. Suits. By the way, are you her, blaming her for the heroin? No, I'm just saying. I wish she would make sure there wasn't heroin on this street. At least. Well, her and her cronies the, the, are making sure well, there is. The, the, the people that throw away the garbage, you know, I don't know. There's a heroin needle downstairs. We saw it. But I've I've been seeing people really like like badly. Like bad, like it's what like you you've been seeing people badly. Yeah, man. Just I don't know. <laughs> what does that mean? I've been Get seeing people glasses, badly. Bro. Yeah. No, no, no. Like, like, fuck. I don't know how to explain this. Hey, like, what happened to that? They uh, don't homeless look people well. village under the Ville Marie Expressway. Did they move them? Where, where are these people? 
There was a tent city going on downtown there for I a while. I think they killed them. Really, yeah? How? Bulldozers. Heroin. Fentanyl. Oh, my God. I have a new theory. What? So, oh, by the way, dementia, diet and exercise could be a risk factor. Drinking too much alcohol, cardiovascular risk, obesity, okay. depression, air pollution, head trauma, sleep problems, Once low again, levels very of vague. certain vitamins and nutrients, vague. and medicines that can worsen memory. Vague. But you know what? Here's what, here's what I have to say to all this shit, bro. At the end of the day, something is going to kill you. No matter, yeah, but no matter what, we're not getting out of this alive. That's what Jim Morrison said. So, you know what? Try to have a good fucking time. Try well, not to overdo it because then you end up, okay, you know, example in front of us. Well, they, they, they. <laughs> um, but try to have some fun. Try to live a little. Don't. Don't go like opposite where which, you're a health nut, but don't go the opposite where you're just 600 pounds. What's you know what weird I mean? with a lot of people with dementia is their body is physically healthy. It's just their brain that goes to shit. So it makes them live even longer, but with meat, meat uh, oatmeal in their brain. That's the, the problem with a lot of uh, Alzheimer's and stuff is that they're physically healthy, but they just are incapable. I say, give me a heart attack or give me a Carl Weathers, man. You know, in my sleep. See you later. Boom. I, I heard about somebody forgetting how to like hold a cup with uh, with uh, Alzheimer's, and I don't know. High why blood pressure is a risk. It factor. freaked me out. Uh, when, what's in the cup when you hold a cup with Alzheimer's? What do you put in the cup to no, make like a, it a Alzheimer's? A cup of water, bro. Hey. Why are you a retard, bro? But he's holding a cup of Alzheimer's. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're holding a cup of. Stupidity is what you're holding. Exactly. <laughs> I agree, my friend. Um, <clears throat> I would love to yeah, just of live soup. your life, bro. If there's come in your soup, it doesn't matter that much, you know. I mean, don't say that. That I'm not. Okay. <laughs> I would have a, a a Wendy's chili right now. Ugh. You want to go get the only Wendy's that's available is on like. Uh, oh, no, I, I was joking. I'm not going oh. with you. It's too much. Like, I've never been a big fan of Wendy's. Like, I don't care. It's the, the same. The only thing I eat there is that. You, well, the only thing I ever enjoyed from Wendy's was the Baconator. It's, it's, like, it's underrated in this town. It's basically. What's underrated? Wendy's. They used to have a wonderful salad bar. Very healthy. Um, right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what else used to have a salad bar? Pizza Hut. Does well, do Pizza Hut even exist? Uh, is there a Pizza Hut? There is, there is, but they've turned into like holes in the walls, like Domino's and Pizza Right here, pizza. I think yeah. there is one around here on uh, Saint Laurent and why, Sauvignon. Why you make a laugh? I saw something, but I don't want to show you. Show me. Remember when we'll Pizza Hut had the stuffed, you're gonna laugh too much. stuffed crust? Remember and then when you're I gonna use it against people? Remember when we made that? <laughs> pizza Hut invented the stuffed. crust. I'll show you, but I won't put it on screen. Okay. Don't say what it is. Okay. Do you remember the stuffed crust beside it? Okay, right. dementia can affect... Shut the fuck up! Shut, what did I just say? Don't say it on screen, because Poseidon's going to use it as an attack on people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, bro? <laughs> so, <laughs> no! Apparently. That's amazing! Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to use this. It's the mayo... <laughs> You demented fuck. <laughs> it's, it's by the Mayo Clinic staff. Uh, this is amazing. They, it's I'm definitely amazing. using this. <laughs> this is amazing. Be careful. Um, <coughs> wow. August Why are you 30, acting like this, bro? You want to get... <laughs> August 30th, uh, 2023. Wait, is demented, when, bro. <laughs> do not be... <coughs> um, uh, that's amazing. No, nah, that's amazing. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> you know, behaving in that manner. <laughs> Pretty can, fucking retarded. Yeah, can, you know, can lead to, you know. <laughs> Daya Mayan Chaya. Right. Yeah. Intellectuals out. All right, peace out. <laughs>